The Papyrus of Orni, The Egyptian Book of the Dead. Translated by E. A. Wallace Budge. A hymn of praise to Ra when he riseth in the eastern part of heaven. Behold, the Osiris Orni, the scribe of the holy offerings of all the gods, saith, Homage to thee, O thou who hast come as Kepra, Kepra the creator of the gods, thou art seated on thy throne, thou risest up in the sky, illumining thy mother, Nut, thou art seated on thy throne as the king of the gods. Thy, mother Nut stretcheth out her hands, and performeth an act of homage to thee. The domain of Manu, receiveth thee with satisfaction. The goddess Maut embraces thee at the two seasons of the day. May Ra give glory, and power, and thruth speaking, and the appearance as a living soul so that he may gaze upon her Yakuti, to the Kathi Osiris the scribe Borni, who speaketh truth before Osiris, and who saith, Hail, O all ye gods of the house of the soul, who weigh heaven and earth in a balance, and who give celestial food, to the dead. Hail, Tatan, who art, one, thou creator of mortals, and, of the Kampornais of the gods of the south and of the north, of the west and of the east, ascribe ye praise to Ra, the Lord of heaven, the king, life, strength, and health, the maker of the gods. Give ye thanks unto him in his beneficent form which is enthroned in the aided boat, being celestial praise thee, being terrestrial praise thee. Thoth and the goddess Mount mark out thy course for thee day by day and every day. Thine enemy the serpent hath been given over to the fire. The serpent fiend Sabao hath fallen headlong, his fore legs are bound in chains, and his hind legs hath Ra carried away from him. The sons of revolt shall never more rise up. The house of the aged one keepeth festival, and the voices of those who made merry are in the great place. The gods rejoice when they see Ra crowned upon his throne, and when his beams flood the world with light. The majesty of this holy God sitteth out on his journey, and he goeth onwards until he reaches the land of Manu, the earth becometh light at his birth each day, he proceedeth until he reaches the place where he was yesterday. O be thou at peace with me. Let me gaze upon thy beauties. Let me journey above the earth. Let me smite the ass. Let me slit asunder the serpent fiend Sabao. Let me destroy Epep at the moment of his greatest power. Let me behold the abta fish at his season, and the ant fish with the ant boat as it piloteth it in its lake. Let me behold Horus when he is in charge of the rudder, of the boat of Ra, with Oath and the goddess Maut on each side of him. Let me lay hold of the tow rope of the sectet boat, and the rope at the stern of the mated boat. Let Ra grant to me a view of the disc, the sun, and a sight of Ra, the moon, unfailingly each day. Let my bar soul come forth to walk about hither and thither and whithersoever it pleaseth. Let my name be called out, let it be found inscribed on the tablet which recordeth the names of those who are to receive offerings. Let meals from the sepulchral offerings be given to me in the presence, of Osiris, as to those who are in the following of Horus. Let there be prepared for me a seat in the boat of the sun on the day whereon the god saileth. Let me be received in the presence of Osiris in the land of truth speaking the Kev Osiris Orni. A hymn of praise of Osiris, a hymn of praise to Osiris and Nefer, the great God who dwelleth in Abtu, the King of Eternity, the Lord of Everlastingness, who traverseth millions of years in his existence. Thou art the eldest son of the womb of Nut. Thou was begotten by Kab, the Urpat. Thou art the Lord of the Urt Crown. Thou art he whose white crown is lofty. Thou art the king, a of gods, and, men. Thou hast gained possession of the scepter of rule, and the whip, and the rank and dignity of thy divine fathers. Thy heart is expanded with joy, O thou who art in the kingdom of the dead. Thy son Horus is firmly placed on thy throne. Thou hast ascended thy throne as the lord of Tetu, and as the Hek who dwelleth in Abydos. Thou makest the two lands to flourish through truth speaking, in the presence of him who is the Lord to the uttermost limit. Thou drawest on that which hath not yet come into being in thy name of Tihurstanif. Thou governest the two lands by mouth in thy name of Seker. Thy power is widespread, thou art he of whom the fear is great in thy name of Uzar, or Asar. 
thy existence endureth for an infinite number of double henty periods in thy name of Unnefer. Homage to thee, King of Kings, and Lord of Lords, and Prince of Princes. Thou hast ruled the two lands from the womb of the goddess Nut. Thou hast governed the lands of Akert. Thy members are of silver gold, thy head is of lapis lazuli, and the crown of thy head is of turquoise. Thou art an of millions of years. Thy body is all-pervading, O beautiful face in touches it. Grant thou to me glory in heaven, and power upon earth, and truth speaking in the divine underworld, and, the power to, sail down the river to touch you in the form of a living bar soul, and, the power to, sail up the river to Abydos in the form of a binu bird, and, the power to, pass in through and to pass out from, without obstruction, the doors of the lords of the Tuat. Let there be given unto me bread cakes in the house of refreshing, and sepulchral offerings of cakes and ale, and propitiatory offerings in Anu, and a permanent homestead in Sekataru, with wheat and barley therein to the double of the Osiris, the scribe Orni. The chapters of coming forth by day, here begin the chapters of coming forth by day and the songs of praising and glorifying which are to be recited for coming forth and for entering into Kurtnita, and the spells which are to be said in beautiful Amentet. They shall be recited on the day of the funeral, entering in after coming forth, the Osiris Orni, the Osiris the scribe Orni saith colon homage to thee, O bull of Amentet, Thoth the king of eternity is with me. I am the great god by the side of the divine boat, I have fought for thee. I am one of those gods, those divine chiefs, who proved the truth speaking of Osiris before his enemies on the day of the weighing of words. I am thy kinsman Osiris. I am, one of, those gods who were the children of the goddess Nut, who hacked in pieces the enemies of Osiris, and who bound in fetters the legion of Sabaud evils on his behalf. I am thy kinsman Horus, I have fought on thy behalf, I have come to thee for thy name's sake. I am Thoth who proved the truth of the words of Osiris before his enemies on the day of the weighing of words in the great house of the prince, who dwelleth in Anu. I am Teti, the son of Teti. My mother conceived me in Tetu, and gave birth to me in Tetu. I am with the mourners, and with, the women who tear out their hair and make lament for Osiris in Toririkti, proving true the words of Osiris before his enemies. Ra commanded, Thoth to prove true the words of Osiris before his enemies, what was commanded, for Osiris, let that be done for me by Thoth. I am with Horus on the day of dressing Tesh Tesh. I open the hidden water springs for the ablutions of Ertab. I unbolt the door of the Shet H shrine in Rastor. I am with Horus as the protector of the left shoulder of Osiris, the dweller in Sekhem. I enter in among and I come forth from the flame gods on the day of the destruction of the Sabaophians in Sekhem. I am with Horus on the day s, of the festivals of Osiris, at the making of offerings and oblations, namely, on the festival which is celebrated on the sixth day of the month, and on the day of the Tenat festival in Anu. I am the Uab priest, Libationer, in Tetu, Rera, the dweller in Parasar. I exalt him that is upon the high place of the country. I look upon the hidden things, the mysteries, in Rastor. I recite the words of the liturgy of the festival of the soul god in Tetu. I am the Sim priest, and, perform, his duties. I am the Erkerpem priest on the day of placing the Henya boat of Sekra upon its divine sledge. I have taken in my hand the digging tool on the day of digging up the earth in Hensu. Hail! O ye who make perfect souls to enter into the house of Osiris, make ye the well-instructed soul of the Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is true, to enter in and to be with you in the house of Osiris. Let him hear even as ye hear, let him have sight even as ye have sight, let him stand up even as ye stand up, let him take his seat even as ye take your seats. Hail! O ye who give cakes and ale to perfect souls in the house of Osiris, give ye cakes and ale twice each day, in the morning and in the evening, to the soul of the Osiris Sawney, whose word is true before the gods, the lords of Abydos, and whose word is true with you. Hail, O ye who open up the way, who act as guides to the roads, in the other world, to perfect souls in the house of Osiris, open ye up for him the way, 
and act ye as guides to the roads to the soul of the Osiris, the scribe, the registrary of all the offerings made to the gods, Orni, whose word is true, with you. May he enter the house of Osiris with boldness, and may he come forth therefrom in peace. May there be no opposition made to him, and may he not be sent back, therefrom. May he enter in under favor, of Osiris, and may he come forth gratified, at the acceptance of, his true words. May his commands be performed in the house of Osiris, may his words travel with you, may he be glorious as ye are. May he be not found to be light in the balance, may the balance dispose of his case. The chapter of giving a mouth to the Osiris Orni, the scribe, and teller of the offerings which are made to all the gods, whose word is true, who saith, colon I rise up out of the egg in the hidden land. May my mouth be given unto me that I may speak there within the presence of the great God, the Lord of the Tuat. Let not my hand and my arm be repulsed in the presence of the chiefs, cha cha, of any god. I am Osiris, the Lord of Rastor. May I, the Osiris, the scribe Orni, whose word is true, have my portion with him who is on the top of the steps, Osiris. According to the desire of my heart I have come forth from the island of Nezasut and I have extinguished the fire. Rubric, if this chapter be known by the Osiris the scribe Orni, upon earth, or if it be done, in writing upon, his, coffin, he shall come forth by day in every form which he pleaseth, and he shall enter into, his, abode, and shall not be repulsed. And cakes, and ale, and joints of meat, from those which are on, the altar of Osiris shall be given unto him, and he shall enter in peace into Sekataru, conformably to the decree of the dweller in Buziris. Wheat and barley, Dura, shall be given unto him therein, and he shall flourish the just as he did upon earth, and he shall do whatsoever it pleaseth him to do, even as do the company of the gods who are in the Tuat, regularly and continually, for millions of times. Texts relating to the weighing of the heart of Orni, the names of the gods of the great company colon 1. Rahamachis, the great god in his boat. 2. Temu. 3. Shu. 4. Tefnut. 5. Kab. 6. Nut, the lady of heaven. 7. Isis. 8. Nuphthes. 9. Horus, the great god. 10. Hatha, lady of Amentet. 11. Hu. 12. Tsar, the prayer of Ornicolon my heart, my mother, my heart my mother. My heart whereby I came into being. May not stand up to oppose me at, my, judgment, may there be no opposition to me in the presence of the chiefs, cha cha, may there be no parting of thee from me in the presence of him that keepeth the balance. Thou art my Ka, which dwelleth in my body, the god Knema who knitteth together and strengtheneth my limbs. Mayest thou come forth into the place of happiness with a wego. May the Shin'i'u officials, who make the conditions of the lives of men, not cause my name to stink, and may no lies be spoken against me in the presence of the God. Let it be satisfactory unto us, and let the listener God be favorable unto us, and let there be joy of heart, to us, at the weighing of words. Let not that which is false be uttered against me before the great God, the Lord of Amentet. Verily, how great shalt thou be when thou risest in triumph. The speech of Thoth colon Thoth, the judge of right and truth of the great company of the gods who are in the presence of Osiris, saith, Hear ye this judgment. The heart of Osiris hath in very truth been weighed, and his heart soul hath borne testimony on his behalf, his heart hath been found right by the trial in the great balance. There hath not been found any wickedness in him, he hath not wasted the offerings which have been made in the temples. He hath not committed any evil act, and he hath not set his mouth in motion with words of evil whilst he was upon earth. The speech of the dweller in the embalmment chapter, Anubis, pay good heed, O righteous judge to the balance to support, the testimony, thereof. Variant, pay good heed to the weighing in the balance of the heart of the Osiris, the singing woman of our men, Anhai, whose word is truth and place thou her heart in the seat of truth in the presence of the great God. The speech of the gods, colon the great company of the gods saith oath who dwelleth in Khmenu, 
that which cometh forth from thy mouth shall be declared true. The Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is true, is holy and righteous. He hath not committed any sin, and he hath done no evil against us. The devourer Amamite shall not be permitted to prevail over him. Meat offerings and admittance into the presence of the god Osiris shall be granted unto him, together with an abiding habitation in the field of offerings, Sekhethepit, as unto the followers of Horus. The speech of Horus to Osiris in introducing Orni to him colon Horus, the son of Isis, saith, I have come to thee, O Anephah, and I have brought unto thee the Osiris Orni. His heart is righteous, and it hath come forth from the balance, it hath not sinned against any god or any goddess. Th oath hath weighed it according to the decree pronounced unto him by the company of the gods, and it is most true and righteous. Grant thou that cakes and ale may be given unto him, and let him appear in the presence of the god Osiris, and let him be like unto the followers of Horus for ever and ever. The speech of Orni Colon and the Osiris Orni saith, Behold, I am in thy presence, O Lord of Amentet. There is no sin in my body. I have not spoken that which is not true knowingly, nor have I done anything with a false heart. Grant thou that I may be like unto those favoured ones who are in thy following, and that I may be an Osiris greatly favoured of the beautiful God, and beloved of the Lord of the two lands, I who am a veritable royal scribe who loveth thee, Orni, whose word is true before the God Osiris. The description of the beast MMIT colon her forepart is like that of a crocodile, the middle of her body is like that of a lion, her hindquarters are like those of a hippopotamus. Here begin the praises and glorifyings of coming out from and of going into the glorious Kurtnita, which is in the beautiful Amendet, of coming forth by day in all the forms of existence which it may please the deceased to take, of playing at draughts, of sitting in the Say Hall, and of appearing as a living soul, the Osiris the scribe Orni saith after he hath arrived in his haven of rest now it is good for, a man, to recite, this work whilst he is, upon earth for then all the words of Tem come to pass. I am the god Tem in rising. I am the only one. I came into existence in new. I am Ra who rose in the beginning, the ruler of this, creation. Who is this? It is Ra, when at the beginning he rose in the city of Hansu, crowned like a king for his coronation. The pillars of the god Shu were not as yet created, when he was upon the steps of him that dwelleth in Kmanu. I am the great God who created himself, even new, who made his names to become the company of the gods, as gods. Who is this? It is Ra, the creator of the names of his limbs, which came into being in the form of the gods who are in the train of Ra. I am he who cannot be repulsed among the gods. Who is this? It is Temu, the dweller in his disc. But others say that it is Ra when he riseth in the eastern horizon of the sky. I am yesterday, I know today. Who is this? Yesterday is Osiris, and today is Ra, when he shall destroy the enemies of Nebercha, the Lord to the uttermost limit, and when he shall establish as prince and ruler his son Horus. Others, however, say that today is Ra, on the day when he commemorate the festival of the meeting of the dead Osiris with his father Ra, and when the battle of the gods was fought, in which Osiris, the Lord of Amentet, was the leader. What is this? It is a mentet, that is to say, the creation of the souls of the gods when Osiris was leader in set a mentet. Others, however, say that it is the amentet which Ra hath given unto me, when any god cometh he must rise up and fight for it. I know the god who dwelleth therein. Who is this? It is Osiris. Others, however, say that his name is Ra, and that the god who dwelleth in a mentet is the phallus of Ra, wherewith he had union with himself. I am the Banu bird which is in Anu. I am the keeper of the volume of the book, the tablet of destiny, of the things which have been made, and of the things which shall be made. Who is this? It is Osiris. Others, however, say that it is the dead body of Osiris, and yet others say that it is the excrement of Osiris. The things which have been made, and the things which shall be made, refer to, the dead body of Osiris. Others again say that the things which have been made are eternity, and the things which shall be made are everlastingness, and that eternity is the day, and everlastingness the night. 
I am the God Manu in his coming forth, may his two plumes be set on my head for me. Who is this? Manu is Horus, the advocate of his father, Osiris, and his coming forth means his birth. The two plumes on his head are Isis and Nephthys, when these goddesses go forth and set themselves thereon, and when they act as his protectors, and when they provide that which his head lacketh. Others, however, say that the two plumes are the two exceedingly large Uri which are upon the head of their father Tem, and there are yet others who say that the two plumes which are upon the head of Menu are his two eyes. The Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is true, the registrar of all the offerings which are made to the gods, riseth up and cometh into his city. What is this, city? It is the horizon of his father Tem. I have made an end of my shortcomings, and I have put away my faults. What is this? It is the cutting of the navel string of the body of the Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is true before all the gods, and all his faults are driven out. What is this? It is the purification, of Osiris, on the day of his birth. I am purified in my great double nest which is in Hensu on the day of the offerings of the followers of the great God who dwelleth therein. What is the great double nest? The name of one nest is millions of years, and great green, sea, is the name of the other, that is to say lake of natron and lake of salt. Others, however, say the name of the one is guide of millions of years, and that great green lake is name of the other. Yet others say that begetter of millions of years is the name of one, and great green lake is the name of the other. Now, as concerning the great God who dwelleth therein, it is Ra himself. I pass over the way, I know the head of the island of Mauti. What is this? It is Ra's tour, that is to say, it is the gate to the south of Narutef, and it is the northern gate of the domain, tomb of the god. Now, as concerning the island of Mauti, it is Abtu. Others, however, say that it is the way by which further Tem travelleth when he goeth forth to Sekataru, the place, which produceth the food and sustenance of the gods who are, in their shrines. Now the gate Chizat is the gate of the pillars of Shu, that is to say, the northern gate of the Tuat. Others, however, say that the gate of Chizat is the two leaves of the door through which the god Tem passeth when he goeth forth to the eastern horizon of the sky. O ye gods who are in the presence, of Osiris, grant to me your arms, for I am the god who shall come into being among you. Who are these gods? They are the drops of blood which came forth from the phallus of Ra when he went forth to perform his own mutilation. These drops of blood sprang into being under the forms of the gods Hu and Sa, who are in the bodyguard of Ra, and who accompany the god Tem daily and every day. I, Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, have filled for thee the Uchat, the eye of Ra, or of Horus when it had suffered extinction on the day of the combat of the two fighters, Horus and Set. What was this combat? It was the combat which took place on the day when Horus fought with Set, during which Set threw filth in the face of Horus, and Horus crushed the genitals of Set. The filling of the Uchat the oath performed with his own fingers. I remove the thunder cloud from the sky when there is a storm with thunder and lightning therein. What is this? This storm was the raging of Ra at the thundercloud which, set, sent forth against the right eye of Ra, the sun. Thoth removed the thundercloud from the eye of Ra, and brought back the eye living, healthy, sound, and with no defect in it to its owner. Others, however, say that the thundercloud is caused by sickness in the eye of Ra, which weepeth for its companion eye, the moon, at this time Thoth cleanseth the right eye of Ra. I behold Ra who was born yesterday from the thighs of the goddess Mert, his strength is my strength, and my strength is his strength. Who is this? Mert is the great celestial water. But others say that Mert is the image of the eye of Ra at dawn at his birth daily. Others, however, say that, Mert is the Uchat of Ra. Now O Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, is a very great one among the gods who are in the following of Horus. They say that he is the prince who loveth his lord. Who are the gods who are in the train of Horus? They are, Kester, Harpy, Tormutef, and Kebsenuf. Homage to you, O ye lords of right and truth, ye sovereign princes, Chacha, who, stand, round about Osiris, 
who do away utterly sins and offenses, and who are in the following of the goddess Hetepsicus, grant ye that I may come unto you. Destroy ye all the faults which are within me, even as ye did for the seven spirits who are among the followers of the Lord's Sepper. And Pooh, Anubis, appointed to them their places on the day, when he said unto them, Come ye hither. Who are the lords of right and truth? The lords of right and truth are Thoth and Asts, the lord of Amentet. The church around about Osiris Akester, Harpy, to Amutef, and Kebsenuf, and they are also round about the constellation of the Thigh, the great bear, in the northern sky. Those who do away utterly sins and offenses, and who are in the following of the goddess Hetepsicus, are the god Sebek and his associates who dwell in the water. The goddess Hetepsicus is the eye of Ra. Others, however, say that it is the flame which accompanieth Osiris to burn up the souls of his enemies. As concerning all the faults which are in Osiris, the registrar of the offerings which are made unto all the gods, Orni, whose word is truth, these are all the offences which he hath committed against the lords of eternity, since he came forth from his mother's womb. As concerning the seven spirits who are Kester, Harpy, Tuamutef, Kebsenuf, Ma Atef, Kerabkef and Harukenti Anariti. These did Anubis appoint to be protectors of the dead body of Osiris. Others, however, say that he set them round about the holy place of Osiris. Others say that the seven spirits, which were appointed by Anubis, were Netchenetche, Atkitkit, Nertanef Besef Kentihef, Akarami Unnatef, Tesherarati Ami Hetans, Ubes Herperem Ketkit, and Maam Kerhanef Emru. The chief of the Chacha, sovereign princes, who is in Narautef is Horus, the advocate of his father. As concerning the day wherein, Anubis said to the seven spirits, Come ye hither, the allusion here, is to the words Come ye hither, which Ra spake unto Osiris. Verily may these same words be said unto me in a mentet. I am the divine soul which dwelleth in the divine twin gods. Who is this divine soul? It is Osiris. When? He goeth into Tetu, and findeth the soul of Ra. The one god embraces the other, and two divine souls spring into being within the divine twin gods. As concerning the divine twin gods they are Harunech Hertefef and Harukentenariti, Horus the advocate of his father, Osiris, and Horus the sightless. Others say that the double divine soul which dwelleth in the divine twin gods is the soul of Ra and the soul of Osiris. And yet others say that it is the soul which dwelleth in Shu, and the Slut which dwelleth in Tefnut, and that these two souls form the double divine soul which dwelleth in Tetu. I am the cat which fought near the Percy tree in Anu on the night when the foes of Nebercha were destroyed. Who is this cat? This male cat is Ra himself, and he was called more because of the speech of the god Sa, who said concerning him, He is like, more, unto that which he hath made. Therefore, did the name of Ra become more. Others, however, say that the male cat is the god Shu, who made over the possessions of Kerb to Osiris. As concerning the fight which took place near the Percy tree in Anu, these words have reference to the slaughter, of the children of rebellion, when righteous retribution was meted out to them for, the evil, which they had done. As concerning the night of the battle, these words refer to, the invasion of the eastern portion of the heaven by the children of rebellion, whereupon a great battle arose in heaven and in all the earth. O thou who art in thine egg, Ra, who showerst from thy disk, who risest on thy horizon, and dost shine with golden beams in the height of heaven, like unto whom there is none among the gods, who sailest above the pillars of Shu, who sendest forth blasts of fire from thy mouth, who illuminest the two lands with thy splendor, deliver. Thou Nebzni, the lord of fealty, to Osiris, from the god whose form is hidden, and whose eyebrows are like unto the two arms of the balance on the night when the sentences of doom are promulgated. Who is this invisible god? It is an af, he who bringeth his arm. As concerning the night when the sentences of doom are promulgated, it is the night of the burning of the damned, and of the overthrow of the wicked at the block, and of the slaughter of souls. Who is this? slaughterer of souls. It is Shezem, the headsman of Osiris. Concerning the invisible God, some say that he is Abep when he riseth up with a head bearing upon it, 
the feather of, Maut, truth. But others say that he is Horus when he riseth up with two heads, whereon one beareth, the feather of, Maut, and the other, the symbol of, wickedness. He bestoweth wickedness on him that worketh wickedness, and right and truth upon him that followeth righteousness and truth. Others say that he is Haru Ur, the old Horus, who dwelleth in Sekem, others say that he is Thoth, others say that he is Nefert M, and others say that he is Sept who doth bring to naught the acts of the foes of Nebuchadnezzar. Deliver thou the scribe Nebzni, whose word is truth, from the watchers, who carry murderous knives, who possess cruel fingers, and who would slay those who are in the following of Osiris. May these watchers never gain the mastery over me, and may I never fall under their knives. Who are these watchers? They are Anubis and Horus, the latter being, in the form of Horus the sightless. Others, however, say that they are the Chacha, sovereign princes of Osiris, who bring to naught the operations of their knives, and others say that they are the chiefs of the Shin'u chamber. May their knives never gain the mastery over me. May I never fall under the knives wherewith they inflict cruel tortures. For I know their names, and I know the being, Machi, who is among them in the house of Osiris. He shooteth forth rays of light from his eye, being himself invisible, and he goeth round about heaven robed in the flames which come from his mouth, commanding Harpy, but remaining invisible himself. May I be strong on earth before Ra. May I arrive safely in the presence of Osiris. O ye who preside over your altars, let not your offerings to me be wanting, for I am one of those who follow after Nebuchadnezzar, according to the writings of Kepera. Let me fly like a hawk, let me cackle like a goose, let me lay always like the serpent goddess Naheb Ka. Who are those who preside over their altars? Those who preside over their altars are the similitude of the Eye of Ra, and the similitude of the Eye of Horus. O Ratem, thou lord of the great house, in Anu, thou sovereign, life, strength, health, be to thee, of all the gods, deliver thou the scribe Nebzni, whose word is truth, from the god whose face is like unto that of a greyhound, whose brows are like those of a man, who feedeth upon the dead, who watcheth at the bend of the lake of fire, who devoureth the bodies of the dead, and swalloweth hearts, and who voideth filth, but who himself remaineth unseen. Who is this greyhound-faced god? His name is Everlasting Devourer, and he liveth in the domain, of fire, the lake of Unt. As concerning the domain of fire, it is that at which is in Narut F, and is near the Shin'u chamber. The sinner who walketh over this place falleth down among the knives, of the watchers. Others, however, say that the name of this god is Mates, and that he keepeth watch over the door of Amentet. Others say that his name is Biba, and that he keepeth watch over the bend, of the stream, of Amentet, and yet others say that his name is Herizepef. Hail, Lord of Terror, Chief of the lands of the south and north, thou Lord of the desert, who dost keep prepared the block of slaughter, and who dost feed on the intestines, of men. Who is this Lord of Terror? It is the keeper of the bend, of the stream, of Amentet. Who is this keeper? It is the heart of Osiris, which is the devourer of all slaughtered things. The earth crown hath been given unto him, with gladness of heart, as Lord of Hansu. Who is this? He to whom the earth crown hath been given with gladness of heart as Lord of Hansu is Osiris. He was bidden to rule among the gods on the day of the union of earth, with earth, in the presence of Nebuchadnezzar. Who is this? He who was bidden to rule among the gods is the son of Isis, Horus, who was appointed to rule in the room of his further Osiris. As concerning, the words, day of the union of earth with earth, they have reference to the union of earth with earth in the coffin of Osiris, the soul that liveth in Hensu, the giver of meat and drink, the destroyer of wrong, and the guide to the everlasting paths. Who is this? It is Ra himself. Deliver thou the Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, from the great God who carrieth away souls, who eateth hearts, who feedeth upon offal, who keepeth watch in the darkness, who dwelleth in the Seca boat, those who live in sin fear him. Who is this? It is Suti, but others say that it is Smama, the soul of Geb. Hail, Kepra in thy boat, the two Kampornais of the gods are in thy body. 
delivered by the Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, from the watchers who pass sentences of doom, who have been appointed by the god Nebuchadnezzar to protect him, and to fasten the fetters on his foes, and who slaughter in the torture chambers, there is no escape from their fingers. May they never stab me with their knives, may I never fall helpless into their chambers of torture. I have never done the things which the gods hate. I am he who is pure in the mezquit chamber. And saffron cakes have been brought unto him in Dant. Who is this? It is Kepra in his boat, it is Ra himself. As concerning the watchers who pass sentences of doom, they are the apes Isis and Nuphis. As concerning the things which the gods hate, they are acts of deceit and lying. He who passeth through the place of purification within the mezquit chamber is Anpu, Anubis, who is hard by the coffer which containeth the inward parts of Osiris. He to whom saffron cakes have been brought in Tant is Osiris. Others, however, say that the saffron cakes in Tant represent heaven and earth, and others say that they represent Shu, the strengthener of the two lands in Hansu, and others say that they represent the Eye of Horus and that Tant is the burial place of Osiris. Tem hath builded thy house, and the double lion God hath laid the foundations of thy habitation. Lo! Medicaments have been brought. Horus purifieth set and set strengtheneth, and set purifieth and Horus strengtheneth. The Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth before Osiris, hath come into this land, and he hath taken possession thereof with his two feet. He is Tem and he is in the city. Turn thou back, O Riu, whose mouth shineth, whose head moveth, turn thou back before his strength. Another reading is, turn thou back from him who keepeth watch, and is himself unseen. Let the Osiris Sawney be safely guarded. He is Isis, and he is found with her hair spread over him, it is shaken out over his brow. He was conceived by Isis, and engendered by Nephthys and they have cut away from him the things which should be cut from him. Fear followeth after thee, terror is about thine arms. Thou hast been embraced for millions of years by arms, mortals go round about thee. Thou smitest down the mediators of thy foes, and thou seizest the arms of the power of darkness. Thy two sisters, Isis and Nephthys, are given to thee for thy delight. Thou hast created that which is in Karaha, and that which is Anu. Every god feareth thee, for thou art exceedingly great and terrible, thou, avengest, every god on the man who curseth him, and thou shootest arrows at him. Thou livest according to thy will. Thou art you Uachit, the lady of flame, evil befalleth those who set themselves up against thee. What is this? Hidden in form, given of Menu, is the name of the tomb. He who seeth what is on his hand is the name of Kero, or, as others say, it is the name of the block. Now, he whose mouth shineth and whose head moveth is the phallus of Osiris. But others say it is, the phallus, of Ra. Thou spreadest thy hair, and I shake it out over his brow is said concerning Isis, who hideth in her hair, and draweth it round about her. You Achi, the lady of flames, is the eye of Ra. The seven erits, the first erit, the name of the doorkeeper is Sekhet Harashtaru. The name of the watcher is Smiti. The name of the herald is Hakau. The Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, shall say when he cometh unto the first erit, I am the mighty one who createth his own light. I have come unto thee, O Osiris, and, purified from that which defileth thee, I adore thee. Lead on. Name not the name of Rastor to me. Homage to thee, O Osiris, in thy might and in thy strength in Rastor. Rise up and conquer, O Osiris, in Abtu. Thou goest round about heaven, thou sailest in the presence of Ra, thou lookest upon all the beings who have knowledge. Hail, Ra, thou who goest round about in the sky, I say, O Osiris in truth, that I am the Su, spirit body, of the God, and I beseech thee not to let me be driven away, nor to be cast upon the wall of blazing fire. Let the way be opened in Rastor. Let the pain of the Osiris be relieved, embrace that which the balance hath weighed, let a path be made for the Osiris in the great valley, and let the Osiris have light to guide him on his way. The second Arit, the name of the doorkeeper is Unhat. 
The name of the Watcher is Sector. The name of the Herald is Eust. The Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, shall say, when he cometh to this Eret, he sitteth to carry out his heart's desire, and he weigheth words as the second of the oath. The strength which protecteth the oath humbleth the hidden mighty gods, who feed upon Maut during the years of their lives. I offer up my offerings, to him, at the moment when he maketh his way. I advance, and I enter on the path. O oh, grant thou that I may continue to advance, and that I may attain to the sight of Ra, and of those who offer up, their, offerings. The third Eret, the name of the doorkeeper is Anemhor Atu and Pehui. The name of the watcher is says her. The name of the herald is A.A. The Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, shall say, when he cometh to this Eret, I am he who is hidden in the great deep. I am the judge of the Rehui, I have come and I have done away the offensive thing which was upon Osiris. I tie firmly the place on which he standeth, coming forth from the earth. I have established things in Obtu, I have opened up a way through Rastor, and I have relieved the pain which was in Osiris. I have balanced the place whereon he standeth, and I have made a path for him, he shineth brilliantly in Rastor. The fourth Arit, the name of the doorkeeper is Ksef Harasht Kuru. The name of the watcher is Says Tepu. The name of the herald is Ksefat. The Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, shall say, when he cometh to this Arit, I am the bull, the son of the ancestress of Osiris. O grant ye that his father, the lord of his godlike companions, may bear witness on his behalf. I have weighed the guilty in judgment. I have brought unto his nostrils the life which is everlasting. I am the son of Osiris, I have accomplished the journey, I have advanced in Kurtnita. The fifth Arit, the name of the doorkeeper is Ankhfemfent. The name of the watcher is Shabu. The name of the herald is Tepher Kakheft. The Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, shall say, When he cometh to this Eret, I have brought unto thee the jawbone in Rastor. I have brought unto thee thy backbone in Anu. I have gathered together his mournful members therein. I have driven back Abep for thee. I have spit upon the wounds, in his body. I have made myself a path among you. I am the aged one among the gods. I have made offerings to Osiris. I have defended him with the word of truth. I have gathered together his bones, and have collected all his members. The sixth Arit, the name of the doorkeeper is Atek Tau Kihak Kuru. The name of the watcher is in her. The name of the herald is Atzha Arushi. The Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, shall say, when he cometh to this Arit, I have come daily, I have come daily. I have made myself away. I have advanced over that which was created by Anpu, Anubis. I am the lord of the earth crown. I am the possessor, of the knowledge of, the words of magical power, I am the avenger according to law, I have avenged, the injury to, his eye. I have defended Osiris. I have accomplished my journey. The Osiris Sawney advanceth with you with the word which is truth. The seventh Tharit, the name of the doorkeeper is Sekma Temtusen. The name of the watcher is A. A. Maokuru. The name of the herald is Ksef Kimi. The Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, shall say, When he cometh to this Eret, I have come unto thee, O Osiris, being purified from foul emissions. Thou goest round about heaven, thou sest Ra, thou sest the beings who have knowledge. Hail, thou, one. Behold, thou art in the sectet boat which traverseth the heavens. I speak what I will to is Su, spirit body. He is strong, and cometh into being even, as, he spake. Thou meetest him face to face. Prepare thou for me all the ways which are good, and which lead, to thee. Rubric, if, these, words be recited by the spirit when he shall come to the seven erits, and as he entereth the doors, he shall neither be turned back nor repulsed before Osiris and he shall be made to have his being among the blessed spirits, and to have dominion among the ancestral followers of Osiris. If these things be done for any spirit he shall have his being in that place like a lord of eternity in one body with Osiris, and at no place shall any being contend against him. The pylons of the house of Osiris, 
the following shall be said, When one cometh to the first pylon, the Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, saith, Lady of tremblings, high walled, the sovereign lady, the lady of destruction, who uttereth the words which drive back the destroyers, who delivereth from destruction him that cometh. The name of her doorkeeper is Narut. The following shall be said, When one cometh to the second pylon, the Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, saith, Lady of heaven, mistress of the two lands, devourer by fire, lady of mortals, who art infinitely greater than any human being. The name of her doorkeeper is Mtar. The following shall be said, When one cometh to the third pylon, the Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, saith, Lady of the Alder, the mighty lady to whom offerings are made, greatly beloved one of every god sailing up the river to Abydos. The name of her doorkeeper is Sebka. The following shall be said, When one cometh to the fourth pylon, the Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, saith, Prevailer with knives, mistress of the two lands, destroyer of the enemies of the still heart, Osiris, who decreeth the release of those who suffer through evil hap. The name of her doorkeeper is Nikau. The following shall be said, When one cometh to the fifth pylon, the Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, saith, Flame, lady of fire, absorbing the entreaties which are made to her, who permitteth not to approach her the rebel. The name of her doorkeeper is Hantiriku. The following shall be said, When one cometh to the sixth pylon, the Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, saith, Lady of light, who roareth mightily, whose breadth cannot be comprehended. Her like hath not been found since the beginning. There are serpents over which are unknown. They were brought forth before the still heart. The name of her doorkeeper is Semati. The following shall be said, when one cometh to the seventh pylon. The Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, saith, Garment which envelopeth the helpless one, which weepeth for and loveth that which it covereth. The name of her doorkeeper is Sakdif. The following shall be said, when one cometh to the eighth pylon. The Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, saith, Blazing fire, unquenchable, with far-reaching tongues of flame, irresistible slaughterer, which one may not pass through fear of its deadly attack. The name of her doorkeeper is Kuchatef. The following shall be said, when one cometh to the ninth pylon, the Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, saith, Chieftainess, Lady of Strength, who giveth quiet of heart to the offspring of her lord. Her girth is three hundred and fifty ket, and she is clothed with green feldspar of the south. She bindeth up the divine form and clotheth the helpless one. Devourer, Lady of all men. The name of her doorkeeper is Arish Uchaseth. The following shall be said, when one cometh to the tenth pylon. The Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, saith, Goddess of the loud voice, who maketh her suppliants to mourn, the awful one who terrifieth, who herself remaineth unterrified within. The name of her doorkeeper is Sekna. The speech of the priest Hamutef, I have come unto you, O ye great church chiefs who dwell in heaven, and upon earth, and in Kurtnita and I have brought unto you the Osiris Sawney. He hath not committed any act which is an abomination before all the gods. Grant ye that he may live with you every day. The Osiris the scribe or Neodoreth Osiris, Lord of Rasta, and the great company of the gods who live in Kurtnita. He saith, Homage to thee, Kentiamenti, Unnefer, who dwellest in Obtu. I come to thee. My heart holdeth truth. There is no sin in my body. I have not told a lie wittingly, I have not acted in a double manner. Grant thou to me cakes, let me appear in the presence, at the altar of the lords of truth, let me go in and come forth from Kurtnita, at will, let not my heart soul be driven away, from me, and grant me a sight of the disc and the beholding of the moon for ever and ever. The speech of the priest Samarf, I have come unto you. O ye Chacha chiefs who dwell in Rasta, and I have brought unto you the Osiris Sawney, grant ye unto him cakes, and water, and air, and a homestead in Sekhethep as to the followers of Horus. The Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, adoreth Osiris, 
the Lord of everlastingness, and the churcher chiefs, the lords of Rasta. He saith, Homage to thee, O king of Kurtnita, thou governor of Akert. I have come unto thee. I know thy plans, I am equipped with the forms which thou takest in the Tuat. Give thou to me a place in Kurtnita, near the lords of truth. May my homestead be lasting in Sekhethep, may I receive cakes in thy presence. The judges in Anu, hail, Thoth, who madest to be true the word of Osiris against his enemies, make thou the word of the scribe Nebzani to be true against his enemies, even as thou didst make the word of Osiris to be true against his enemies, in the presence of the churcher chiefs who are with Ra and Osiris in Anu, on the night of the things of the night, and the night of battle and of the fettering of the Sabaphines, and the day of the destruction of the enemies of Nebuchadnezzar. Now the great church of chiefs in Anu are Tem, Shu, Tefnut, Osiris and Thoth. Now the fettering of the Sabaphines signifieth the destruction of the Smaufines of Set, when he wrought iniquity a second time. Hail, Thoth, who didst make the word of Osiris to be true against his enemies, make thou the word of the Osiris Orni to be true against his enemies with the great church of chiefs who are in Tetu, on the night of setting up the Tet in Tetu. Now the great church of chiefs who are in Tetu are Osiris, Isis, Nephthys, and Horus the avenger of his father. Now the setting up of the Tet in Tetu signifieth, the raising up of, the shoulder of Horus, the governor of Sechem. They are round about Osiris in the band, and, the bandages. Hail, Thoth! who didst make the word of Osiris to be true against his enemies, make thou the word of the Osiris Orni to be true against his enemies, with the great church of chiefs who are in Sechem, on the night of the things of the night in Sechem. Now the great church of chiefs who are in Sechem are Harukenti and Arati and Thoth who is with the church of chiefs of Nerutef. Now the night of the things of the night festival signifieth the dawn on the sarcophagus of Osiris. Hail, Thoth! who didst make the word of Osiris to be true against his enemies, make thou the word of the Osiris the scribe Orni to be true against his enemies, with the great church of chiefs who are in the double town Ptep, on the night of setting up the senti of Horus, and of establishing him in the inheritance of the possessions of his father Osiris. Now the great church of chiefs who are in Ptep are Horus, Isis, Kester, Master, and Harpy. Now the setting up of the senti of Horus hath reference to the words which Set spake to his followers, saying set up the senti. Hail, Thoth, who didst make the word of Osiris to be true against his enemies, make thou the word of the Osiris the scribe Orni to be true, in peace, against his enemies, with the great church of chiefs who are in the lands of the Rikti, to Rikti, in the night when Isis lay down, and kept watch to make lamentation for her brother Osiris. Now the great church of chiefs who are in Derikti are Isis, Horus, Kester, Mester, and Pu and Thoth. Hail, Thoth, who didst make the word of Osiris true against his enemies, make thou the word of Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, in peace, to be true against his enemies, with the great church of chiefs who are in Abtu, on the night of the god Haker, when the dead are separated, and the spirits are judged and when the procession taketh place in Tenny. Now the great church of chiefs who are in Abtu are Osiris, Isis, and Upuad. Hail, Thoth, who didst make the word of Osiris to be true against his enemies, make thou the word of the Osiris, the scribe and assessor of the sacred offerings which are made to all the gods, Orni, to be true against his enemies, with the church of chiefs who examined the dead on the night of making the inspection of those who are to be annihilated. Now the great church of chiefs who are present at the examination of the dead are Thoth, Osiris, Anpu and Asen, Reed Asts. Now the inspection, or, counting, of those who are to be annihilated signifieth the shutting up of things from the souls of the sons of revolt. Hail, Thoth! who didst make the word of Osiris true against his enemies, make thou the word of the Osiris the scribe Orni to be true against his enemies, with the great church of chiefs who are present at the digging up of the earth, and mixing it, with their blood, and of making the word of Osiris to be true against his enemies. As concerning the church of chiefs who are present at the digging up of the earth in Tetu, when the Smaufians of Set came, there, 
having transformed themselves into animals, these Chacha chiefs slew them in the presence of the gods who were there, and they took their blood, and carried it to them. These things were permitted at the examination, of the wicked, by those, gods, who dwelt in Tetu. Hail, Thoth, who didst make the word of Osiris to be true against his enemies, make thou the word of the Osiris, the scribe, Orni to be true against his enemies, with the great Chacha chiefs who are in Narutef on the night of the hidden of forms. Now the great Chacha chiefs who are in Narutef are Ra, Osiris, Shu and Babi. Now, the night of the hidden of forms refereth to the placing on the sarcophagus, of Osiris, the arm, the heel, and the thigh of Osiris and Nefer. Hail, Thoth, who didst make the word of Osiris true against his enemies, make thou the word of the Osiris, whose word is truth, to be true against his enemies, with the great Chacha chiefs who are in Rasta, on the night when Anpu lay with his arms on the things by Osiris, and when the word of Horus was made to be true against his enemies. The great Chacha chiefs who are in Rasta are Horus, Osiris, and Isis. The heart of Osiris is happy, the heart of Horus is glad, and the two halves of Egypt, 830, are well satisfied thereat. Hail, Thoth, who didst make the word of Osiris true against his enemies, make thou the word of the Osiris the scribe Borni, the assessor of the holy offerings made to all the gods, to be true against his enemies, with the ten great Chacha chiefs who are with Ra, and with Osiris, and with every god, and with every goddess, in the presence of the god Nebuchadnezzar. He hath destroyed his enemies, and he hath destroyed every evil thing which appertained to him. Rubric if this chapter be recited for, or over, the deceased, he shall come forth by day, purified after death, according to the desire of his heart. Now if this chapter be recited over him, he shall progress over the earth, and he shall escape from every fire, and none of the evil things which appertain to him shall ever be round about him, never, a million times over, shall this be. The chapter of opening the mouth of Osiris Orni to be said colon the god ta shall open my mouth, and the god of my town shall unfasten the swathings, the swathings which are over my mouth. Thereupon shall come the oath, who is equipped with words of power in great abundance, and shall untie the fetters, even the fetters of the god set which are over my mouth. And the god Tem shall cast them back at those who would fetter me with them, and cast them at him. Then shall the god Shu open my mouth and make an opening into my mouth with the same iron implement wherewith he opened the mouth of the gods. I am the goddess Sekhmet, and I take my seat upon the place by the side of A.M.T. or the great wind of heaven. I am the great star goddess Sa, who dwelleth among the souls of Anu. Now as concerning every spell, and every word which shall be spoken against me, every god of the divine company shall set himself in opposition thereto. The chapter of bringing words of power to the Osiris Sawney, who saith, Colon I am Temkepro who produced himself on the eyes of his divine mother. Those who dwell in you have been made wolves, and those who are among the Chacha chiefs have become hyenas. Behold, I will gather together to myself this charm from the person with whom it is, and from the place, wherein it is, and it shall come to me, quicker than a greyhound, and swift to that light. Hail! Thou who bringest the ferry boat of Ra, thou holdest thy course firmly and directly in the north wind as thou sailest up the river towards the island of fire which is in Kurtnita. Behold, thou shalt gather together to thee this charm from wheresoever it may be, and from whomsoever it may be with, and it shall come to me, quicker than a greyhound, and swifter than light. It, the charm, made the transformations of Mut, it fashioned the gods, or, kept them silent, by it Mut gave the warmth, of life, to the gods. Behold, these words of power are mine, and they shall come unto me from wheresoever they may be, or with whomsoever they may be, quicker than greyhounds and swifter than light, or, according to another reading, swifter than shadows. The chapter of giving a heart to the Osiris Orni and Kurtnita, he saith, colon let my heart be with me in the house of hearts. Let my heart case be with me in the house of heart cases. Let my heart be with me, and let it rest in, me or, I shall not eat the cakes of Osiris in the eastern side of the lake of flowers, 
nor have a boat wherein to float down the river, nor a boat to sail up the river to thee, nor be able to embark in a boat with thee. Let my mouth be to me that I may speak therewith. Let my legs be to me that I may walk therewith. Let my arms be to me that I may overthrow the foe therewith. Let the two doors of the sky be open to me. Make a, the erpat of the gods, open his jaws to me. May he open my two eyes which are blinded by swathings. May he make me to lift up my legs in walking which are tied together. May Anpu make my thighs to become vigorous. May the goddess Sekhmet raise me, and lift me up. Let me ascend into heaven, let that which I command be performed in Hekata. I know how to use my heart. I am master of my heart gaze. I am master of my hands and arms. I am master of my legs. I have the power to do that which my cat deserveth to do. My heart so shall not be kept a prisoner in my body at the gates of a mantet when I would go in in peace and come forth in peace. The chapter of not letting the heart of the Osiris, the assessor of the divine offerings of all the gods, Orni, whose word is truth before Osiris, be driven back from him in Kurtnita. He saith, colon my heart of my mother. My heart of my mother. My heart case of my transformations. Let not any one stand up to bear testimony against me. Let no one drive me away from the church chiefs. Let no one make thee to fall away from me in the presence of the keeper of the balance. Thou art my Ka, the dweller in my body, the god Knema who makest sound my members. Mayest thou appear in the place of happiness with a wego. Let not make my name distinction it chiefs, who make men to be stable. The chapter of not letting the heart soul of a man be snatched away from him in Kurtnita, the Osiris the scribe or Niseth colon I, even I, am he who cometh forth from the celestial water, Akab. He, Akab, produced abundance for me, and hath the mastery there in the form of the river. The chapter of giving air in Kurtnita, the Osiris Orni saith, colon I am the egg which dwelt in the great Kakala. I keep ward over that great place which Kab hath proclaimed upon earth. I live, it liveth. I grow up, I live, I snuff the air. I am Uchab. I go round about his egg, to protect it. I have thwarted the moment of set. Hail, sweet one of the two lands. Hail, dweller in the Chfer food. Hail, dweller in the lapis lazuli. Watch ye over him that is in his cradle, the babe when he cometh forth to you. The chapter of not letting the heart of a man be snatched away from him in Kurtnita, the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, saith, Colon get thee back, O messenger of every god. Art thou come to, snatch away, my heart case which liveth. My heart case which liveth shall not be given unto thee. As, I advance, the gods hearken unto my propitiation prayer, and they fall down on their faces, whilst, they are on their own land. The chapter of not letting the heart case of a man be taken away from him in Kurtnita, the Osiris or Niseth colon hail, ye who steal and crush heart cases, and who make the heart of a man to go through its transformations according to his deeds, let not what he hath done harm him before you. Homage to you, O ye lords of eternity, ye masters of everlastingness. Take ye not this heart of Osiris Orni into your fingers, and this heart case, and cause ye not things of evil to spring up against it, because this heart belongeth to the Osiris Orni, and this heart case belongeth to him of the great names, Thoth, the mighty one, whose words are his members. He sendeth his heart to rule his body, and his heart is renewed before the gods. The heart of the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, is to him. He hath gained the mastery over it. He hath not said what he hath done. He hath obtained power over his own members. His heart obeyeth him. He is the Lord thereof, it is in his body, and it shall never fall away therefrom. I command thee to be obedient unto me in Kurtnita. I, the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, in peace, whose word is truth in the beautiful Amentet, by the domain of eternity. The chapter of breathing the air and of having power over water in Kurtnita, the Osiris Orni saith, Colon open to me. Who art thou? With a ghost thou. What is thy name? I am one of you. Who are these with you? 
the two mighty goddesses, Isis and Nephthys. Thou separatest head from head when, he, entereth the divine miskin chamber. He causeth me to set out for the temple of the gods Kumharu. Assembler of souls is the name of my fairy boat. Those who make the hair to bristle is the name of the oars. Sirt, goad, is the name of the hold. Steering straight in the middle is the name of the rudder, likewise, the boat, is a type of my being born onward in the lake. Let there be given unto me vessels of milk, and cakes, and loaves of bread, and cups of drink, and flesh, in the temple of Anpu. Rubric, if the deceased knoweth this chapter, he shall go into, after coming forth from Kurtnitrov, the beautiful Amentet. The chapter of snuffing the air, and of having power over the water in Kurtnita, the Osiris or Niseth colon hail, thou sycamore tree of the goddess nut. Give me of thee, water and of thee, air which is in thee. I embrace that throne which is in Anu, and I keep guard over the egg of Nekekur. It flourisheth, and I flourish, it liveth, and I live, it snuffeth the air, and I snuff the air, I the Osiris or Ni, whose word is truth, in, peace. The chapter of not dying a second time in Kurtnita, the Osiris or Niseth colon my hiding place is opened, my hiding place is opened. The spirits fall headlong in the darkness, but the eye of Horus hath made me holy, and Apuati hath nursed me. I will hide myself among you, O ye stars which are imperishable. My brow is like the brow of Ra. My face is open. My heart case is upon its throne, I know how to utter words. In very truth I am Ra himself. I am not a man of no account. I am not a man to whom violence can be done. Thy father liveth for thee, O son of Nut. I am thy son, O great one, I have seen the hidden things which are thine. I am crowned upon my throne like the king of the gods. I shall not die a second time in Kurtnita. The chapter of not trotting in Kurtnita, the Osiris or Niseth colon O thou who art motionless, O thou who art motionless, O thou whose members are motionless, like unto those of Osiris. Thy members shall not be motionless, they shall not rot, they shall not crumble away, they shall not fall into decay. My members shall be made, permanent, for me as if I were Osiris. Rubric, if this chapter be known by the deceased he shall never see corruption in Kurtnita. The chapter of not perishing and of being alive in Kurtnita, the Osiris Orni saith, colon hail ye children of the god Shu. The Tuat hath gained the mastery over his diadem. Among the Hamath spirits may I rise, even as did arise Osiris. The chapter of not going into the block of the god, the Osiris or Niseth colon my head was fastened on my body in heaven, O guardian of the earth, by Ra. This, was granted, to me, on the day of my being established, when I rose up out of a state of weakness upon, my, two feet. On the day of cutting off the hair set and the company of the gods fastened my head to my neck, and it became as firm as it was originally. Let nothing happen to shake it off again. Make ye me safe from the murderer of my father. I have tied together the two earths. Nut hath fastened together the vertebrae of my neck, and, I, behold them as they were originally, and they are seen in the order wherein they were when as yet Maat was not seen and when the gods were not born in visible forms. I am Penti. I am the heir of the great gods, I the Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth. The chapter of not being transported to the east in Kurtnita, the Osiris or Niseth colon hail, phallus of Ra, which advanceth and beateth down opposition. Things which have been without motion for millions of years have come into life through Baba. I am stronger thereby than the strong and I have more power thereby than the mighty. Now, let me not be carried away in a boat, or be seized violently and taken to the east, to have the festivals of Sabao devils celebrated on me. Let not deadly wounds be inflicted upon me, and let me not be gored by horns. Thou shalt neither fall, nor, eat fish made by Tibun. Now, no evil thing of any kind whatsoever shall be done unto me by the Sabao devils. I shall not be gored by, horns. Therefore the phallus of Ra, which is, the head of Osiris, shall not be swallowed up. Behold, 
I shall come into me fields and I shall cut the grain. The gods shall provide me with food. Thou shalt not then be gored, Ra Kepera. There shall not be then pus in the eye of Tem, and it shall not be destroyed. Violence shall not be done unto me, and I shall not be carried away in my boat to the east to have the festivals of the Sabao devils celebrated on me in evil fashion. Cruel gashes with knives shall not be inflicted upon me, and I shall not be carried away in my boat to the east. I the Osiris, the assessor of the holy offerings of all the gods, Orni, whose word is truth, happily, the lord of fealty, to Osiris. The chapter of not letting the head of a man be cut off from his body in Kurtnita, the Osiris Orni saith colon I am a great one, the son of a great one. I am, fire, the son of fire, to whom was given his head after it had been cut off. The head of Osiris was not removed from his body and the head of Osiris Orni shall not be removed from his body. I have knitted myself together, I have made myself whole and complete. I shall renew my youth. I am Osiris himself, the lord of eternity. The chapter of making the soul to be joined to its body in Kurtnita, the Osiris Orni saith colon hail, thy god Orni U. Hail, thou god Pahiri, who dwellest in thy hall, the great god. Grant thou that my soul may come to me from any place wherein it may be. Even if it would tarry, let my soul be brought unto me from any place wherein it may be. Thou findest the eye of Horus standing by thee like unto those beings who resemble Osiris, who never lie down in death. Let not the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, lie down dead among those who lie in Anu, the land wherein, souls, are joined to their bodies in thousands. Let me have possession of my bar soul and of my spirit soul, and let my word be truth with it, the bar soul, in every place wherein it may be. Observe then, O ye guardians of heaven, my soul, wherever it may be. Even if it would tarry, cause thou my bar soul to see my body. Thou shalt find the eye of Horus standing by thee like, the watchers. Hail, ye gods who tow along the boat of the Lord of millions of years who bring it over the sky of the Tuat, who make it to journey over Nent, who make bar souls to enter into their spirit bodies, whose hands hold the steering poles and guide it straight, who grasp tightly your paddles, destroy ye the enemy, thus shall the boat rejoice, and the great God shall travel on his way in peace. Moreover, grant ye that the bar soul of the Osiris Sawney, whose word is truth before the gods, may come forth with your navel cords in the eastern part of the sky, and that it may follow Ra to the place where he was yesterday, and may set in peace, in peace in a mentet. May it gaze upon its earthly body, may it take up its abode and its spirit body, may it neither perish nor be destroyed for ever and forever. Rubric, these words shall be said over a model of the bar soul made of gold, and inlaid with precious stones, which shall be placed on the breast of the Osiris. The chapter of not letting the soul of a man be held captive in Kurtnita, the Osiris Orni saith colon hail, thou who art exalted. Hail, thou who art adored. Hail, mighty one of souls, thou divine soul who inspirest great dread, who dost set the fear of thyself in the gods, who are enthroned upon thy mighty seat. Make thou a path for the spirit soul and the bar soul of the Osiris Orni. I am equipped with, words of power. I am a spirit soul equipped with, words of power. I have made my way to the place where are Ra and Hatha. Rubric, if this chapter be known by the deceased he shall be able to transform himself into a spirit soul who shall be equipped with, his soul and his shadow, in Kurtnita, and he shall not be shut up inside any door in a mentet, when he is coming forth upon the earth, or when he is going back into, Kurtnita. The chapter of opening the tomb to the bar soul and the shadow, and of coming forth by day, and of having mastery over the two legs, the Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, saith colon the place which is closed is opened, the place which is shut, or sealed, is sealed. That which lieth down in the closed place is opened by the bar soul which is in it. By the eye of Horus I am delivered. Ornaments are established on the brow of Ra. My stride is made long. I lift up my two thighs, in walking. I have journeyed over a long road. 
My limbs are in a flourishing condition. I am Horus, the avenger of his father, and I bring the earth crown, and set it on, its standard. The road of souls is opened. My twin soul seeth the great god in the boat of Ra, on the day of souls. My soul is in the front thereof with the counter of the years. Come, the eye of Horus hath delivered for me my soul, my ornaments established on the brow of Ra. Light is on the faces of those who are in the members of Osiris. Ye shall not hold captive my soul. Ye shall not keep endurance my shadow. The way is open to my soul and to my shadow. It seeth the great God in the shrine on the day of counting souls. It repeateth the words of Osiris. Those whose seats are invisible, who fetter the members of Osiris, who fetter heart souls and spirit souls, who set a seal upon the dead, and who would do evil to me, shall do no evil to me. Haste on the way to me. Thy heart is with thee. My heart soul and my spirit soul are equipped, they guide thee. I sit down at the head of the great ones who are chiefs of their abodes. The wardens of the members of Osiris shall not hold thee captive, though they keep ward over souls, and set a seal on the shadow which is dead. Heaven shall not shut thee in. Rubric, if this chapter be known by the deceased he shall come forth by day, and his soul shall not be kept captive. The chapter of lifting up the feet, and of coming forth on the earth. The Osiris Orni saith Colon perform thy work, O Seca, perform thy work, O Seca, O thou who dwellest in thy circle, and who dwellest in my feet in Kurtnita. I am he who sendeth forth light over the thigh of heaven. I come forth in heaven. I sit down by the light God, Ku. O I am helpless. O I am helpless. I would walk. I am helpless. I am helpless in the regions of those who plunder in Kurtnita. I the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, in peace. The chapter of forcing a way into a mentet, and of coming forth, by day, the Osiris Orni saith colon the town of Anu is opened. My head is sealed up, the oath. Perfect is the eye of Horus. I have delivered the eye of Horus which shineth with splendors on the brow of Ra, the father of the gods, I am, that selfsame Osiris, the dweller in, the mentet. Osiris knoweth his day, and he knoweth that he shall live through his period of life, I shall have by being with him. I am the moon god Ar, the dweller among the gods. I shall not come to an end. Stand up therefore, O Horus, for thou art counted among the gods. The chapter of coming forth by day and of living after death, the Osiris Orni saith colon hail, thou one, who shinest from the moon. Hail, thou one who shinest from the moon. Grant that this Osiris Orni may come forth among thy multitudes who are at the portal. Let him be with the light God. Let the Tuat be open to him. Behold, the Osiris Orni shall come forth by day to perform everything which he wisheth upon the earth among those who are living, thereon. The chapter of coming forth by day after forcing an entrance through the Amit, the Osiris Orni saith colon hail, so. Thou mighty one of terror. Verily, I am here. I have come. I behold thee. I have passed through the Tuat. I have seen further Osiris. I have scattered the gloom of night. I am his beloved one. I have come, I have seen my father Osiris. I have stabbed the heart of Suti. I have made offerings to my further Osiris. I have opened every way in heaven and on the earth. I am the son who loveth his fathers, sick. Osiris. I am a spirit body. I am a spirit soul. I am equipped. Hail, every god and every spirit soul. I have made the way, to Osiris. By the Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth. The chapter of making a man to return to look upon his house on earth, the Osiris Orni saith colon I am the lion god who cometh forth with long strides. I have shot arrows, and I have wounded my prey. I have shot arrows, and I have wounded my prey. I am the eye of Horus, I traverse is the eye of Horus at this season. I have arrived at the domains. Grant that the Osiris Orni may come in peace. Another chapter of the coming forth of the man by day against his enemies in Kurtnita, the Osiris Orni saith, I have divided the heavens. I have cleft the horizon. I have traversed the earth, following in, his footsteps. 
I have conquered the mighty spirit souls because I am equipped for millions of years with words of power. I eat with my mouth. I evacuate with my body. Behold, I am the god of the Tuat. Let these things be given unto me, the Osiris Orni, in perpetuity with the fail or diminution. A hymn of praise to Ra when he riseth upon the horizon, and when he sittest in the land of life, Osiris the scribe Orni saith, Colon homage to thee, O Ra, when thou risest as Temhoyakuti. Thou art to be adored. Thy beauties are before mine eyes, thy, radiance is upon my body. Thou goest forth to thy setting in the sectet boat with, fair, winds, and thy heart is glad, the heart of the matet boat rejoiceth. Thou stridest over the heavens in peace, and all thy foes are cast down, the stars which never rest sing hymns of praise unto thee, and the stars which are imperishable glorify thee as thou sinkest to rest in the horizon of Manu, O thou who art beautiful at morn and at eve, O thou Lord who livest, and art established, O my Lord. Homage to thee, O thou who art Ra when thou risest, and who art Tem when thou sittest in beauty. Thou risest and thou shinest on the back of thy mother, Nut, O thou who art crowned the king of the gods. Nut welcometh thee, and payeth homage unto thee, and Maut, the everlasting and never-changing goddess, embraces thee at noon and at eve. Thou stridest over the heavens, being glad at heart, and the lake of Testes is content. The Sabah fiend hath fallen to the ground, his forelegs and his hind legs have been hacked off him and the knife hath severed the joints of his back. Ra hath a fair wind, and the sectet boat sitteth out on its journey, and saileth on until it cometh into port. The gods of the south, the gods of the north, the gods of the west, and the gods of the east praise thee, O thou divine substance, from whom all living things came into being. Thou didst send forth the word when the earth was submerged with silence, O thou only one who didst dwell in heaven before ever the earth and the mountains came into being. Hail, thou runner, Lord, only one, thou maker of the things that are, thou hast fashioned the tongue of the company of the gods, thou hast produced whatsoever cometh forth from the waters, thou springest up out of them above the submerged land of the lake of Horus. Let me breathe the air which cometh forth from thy nostrils, and the north wind which cometh forth from thy mother nut. Make thou my spirit soul to be glorious, O Osiris, make thou my heart soul to be divine. Thou art worshipped as thou sittest, O Lord of the gods, thou art exalted by reason of thy wondrous works. Shine thou with the rays of light upon my body day by day, upon me, Osiris the scribe, the assessor of the divine offerings of all the gods, the overseer of the granary of the lords of Abydos, the real royal scribe who loveth thee, Orni whose word is truth, in peace. Praise be unto thee, O Osiris, the Lord of eternity, Annefa, Horukuti, Harmachis, whose forms are mournifold, whose attributes are majestic, praise be unto thee, O thou who art Tarsekatem in Anu, thou Lord of the hidden shrine, thou creator of the house of the Kevdar, Hekatar, and of the gods, therein, thou guide of the Tuat who art glorified when thou sittest in new, the sky. Isis embraces thee in peace, and she driveth away the fiends from the entrances of thy paths. Thou turnest thy face towards Amentet, and thou makest the earth to shine as with refined copper. Those who have lain down in death rise up to see thee, they breathe the air, and they look upon thy face when the disc riseth on the horizon. Their hearts are at peace since they behold thee. O thou who art eternity and everlastingness. The solar litany homage to you, O ye gods of the Dickens in Anu, and to you, O ye Hemimat spirits in Karaha, and to thee, O Unti, who art the most glorious of all the gods who are hidden in Anu, O grant thou unto me a path whereover I may pass in peace, for I am just and true, I have not spoken falsehood wittingly, nor have I done aught with deceit. Homage to thee, O Aninantes, Horyakuti, who dost with long strides march across the heavens, O grant thou unto me a path whereover I may pass in peace, for I am just and true, I have not spoken falsehood wittingly, nor have I done aught with deceit. Homage to thee, O everlasting soul, thou soul who dwellest in Tetu, Unnefer, the son of Nut, 
who art the Lord of Akert, O grant thou unto me a path whereover I may pass in peace, for I am just and true, I have not spoken falsehood wittingly, nor have done naught with deceit. Homage to thee in thy dominion over Tetu, upon whose brow the earth crown is established, thou one who createst the strength to protect thyself, and who dwellest in peace, O grant thou unto me a path whereover I may pass in peace, for I am just and true, I have not spoken falsehood wittingly, nor have I done naught with deceit. Homage to thee, O Lord of the acacia tree, whose secker boat is set upon its sledge, who turnest back the fiend, the evil doer and dost cause the eye of Ra, Uchat, to rest upon its seat, O grant thou unto me a path whereover I may pass in peace, for I am just and true, I have not spoken falsehood wittingly, nor have I done naught with deceit. Homage to thee, O thou who art mighty in thine hour, thou great and mighty prince who dost dwell in Anrut F, thou lord of eternity and creator of the everlastingness, thou lord of Hansu. O grant thou unto me a path whereover I may pass in peace, for I am just and true, I have not spoken falsehood wittingly, nor have I done naught with deceit. Homage to thee, O thou who restest upon truth, thou lord of Abtu, whose limbs form the substance of Darchazit, under whom fraud and deceit are abominations, O grant thou unto me a path whereover I may pass in peace, for I am just and true, I have not spoken falsehood wittingly nor have I done naught with deceit. Homage to thee, O thou who dwellest in thy boat, who dost bring Harpy, the Nile, forth from his cavern, whose body is the light, and who dwellest in Nekan, O grant thou unto me a path whereover I may pass in peace, for I am just and true, I have not spoken falsehood wittingly, nor have I done naught with deceit. Homage to thee, O thou creator of the gods, thou king of the south and north, Osiris whose word is truth, who rulest the world by thy gracious goodness, thou lord of the Atebui, O grant thou unto me a path whereover I may pass in peace, for I am just and true, I have not spoken falsehood wittingly, nor have I done naught with deceit. A hymn of praise to Ra when he riseth in the eastern part of heaven, those who are in his following rejoice, and the Osiris, the scribe Orni, whose word is truth, saith, colon hail, Thou disc, thou lord of rays, who risest on the horizon day by day. Shine thou with thy beams of light upon the face of the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, for he singeth hymns of praise to thee at dawn, and he maketh thee to sit at eventide, with words of adoration. May the soul of the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, come forth with thee into heaven. May he set out with thee in the Matet boat, in the morning. May he come into port in the Sektet boat, in the evening, and may he cleave his path among the stars of heaven which never rest. The Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, being at peace, with his God, maketh adoration to his Lord, the Lord of eternity, and saith colon homage to thee, O Horukuti, who art the God Kepera, the self-created. When thou risest on the horizon and sheddest thy beams of light upon the lands of the south and of the north, Thou art beautiful, yea beautiful, and all the gods rejoice when they behold thee, the king of heaven. The goddess, the lady of the hour, established upon thy head, a Uriah the south and of the north are upon thy brow, and she taketh up her place before thee. The god Thoth is established in the bows of thy boat to destroy utterly all thy foes. Those who dwell in the Tuat come forth to meet thee, and they bow to the earth in homage as they come towards thee to look upon thy beautiful form. And I, Orni, have come into thy presence, so that I may be with thee, and may behold thy disc every day. Let me not be kept captive, by the tomb, and let me not be turned back, on my way. Let the members of my body be made new again when I contemplate thy beauties, even as are the members of all thy favoured ones, because I am one of those who worship thee upon earth. Let me arrive in the land of eternity. Let me enter into the land of everlastingness. This, O my Lord, behold thou shalt ordain for me. And moreover, the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, in peace, the truth speaker, saith, colon homage to thee, O thou who risest on thy horizon in the form of Ra, who restest upon law, which can neither be changed nor altered. Thou passest over the sky, 
and every face, watcher thee and thy course, for thou thyself art hidden from their gaze. Thou dost show thyself, to them, at dawn and at eventide each day. The sectet boat, wherein thy majesty dwelleth, sitteth forth on its journey with vigor. Thy beams, fall, upon all faces, thy light with its mournful colors is incomprehensible, to man, and thy brilliant rays cannot be reported. The lands of the gods see thee, they could write, concerning thee, the deserts of Punt could count thee. Thy creation is hidden. It is won by the opening of thy mouth. Thy form is the head of new. May he, Orni, advance, even as thou dost advance, without cessation, even as thy majesty, ceaseth not to advance, even for a moment. With great stride thou dost in one little moment pass over limitless distances which would need millions and hundreds of thousands of years, for a man to pass over, this, thou doest, and then thou sinkest to rest. Thou bringest to an end the hours of the night, even as thou stridest over them. Thou bringest them to an end by thine own ordinance, and dawn cometh on the earth. Thou sittest thyself before thy handiwork in the form of Ra, and thou rollest up on the horizon. Thou sendest forth light when thy form raiseth itself up, thou ordainest the increase of thy splendors. Thou moldest thy limbs as thou advancest, thou bringest them forth, thou who wast never brought forth, in the form of Ra, who rolleth up into the height of heaven. Grant thou that I may reach the heaven of eternity, and the region where thy favored ones dwell. May I unite with those holy and perfect spirit souls of Kurtnita. May I come forth with them to behold thy beauties as thou rollest on at eventide, as thou journeyest to thy mother nut, the night sky, and dost place thyself at the right hand, in the west. My two hands are raised to thee in praise and thanksgiving when thou sittest in life. Behold, thou art the creator of eternity, who art adored when thou sittest in new. I have set thee in my heart, without wavering, O thou who art more divine than the gods. The Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, saith, Colon praise and thanksgiving be unto thee, O thou who rollest on like unto gold, thou illuminer of the two lands on the day of thy birth. Thy mother brought thee forth on her hand, and thou didst light up with splendor the circle which is travelled over by the disc. O great light who rollest across new, thou dost raise up the generations of men from the deep source of thy waters, and dost make to keep festivals all districts and cities, and all habitations. Thou protectest, them, with thy beauties. Thy care riseth up with the celestial food who and chfa. O thou mightily victorious one, thou power of powers, who makest strong thy throne against the sinful ones, whose risings on thy throne in the sectet boat are mighty, whose strength is widespread in the aided boat, make thou the Osiris Orni to be glorious by virtue of his word, which is truth, in Kurtnita. Grant thou that he may be in a mentet free from evil, and let, his, offences be, set, behind thee. Grant thou that he may, live there, a devoted slave of the spirit souls. Let him mingle among the heart souls who live in Tarchazit, the holy land. Let him travel about in the Sekataru, the Elysian fields, conformably to, thy, decree with joy of heart him the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth. And the God maketh answer, Thou shalt come forth into heaven, thou shalt sail over the sky, and thou shalt hold loving intercourse with the star gods. Praises shall be made to thee in the boat. Thy name shall be proclaimed in the aided boat. Thou shalt look upon Ra within his shrine. Thou shalt make the disc to set, with prayer, every day. Thou shalt see the ant fish in his transformations in the depths of the waters of turquoise. Thou shalt see the abtu fish in his time. It shall be that the evil one shall fall when he deviseth a plan to destroy thee, and the joints of his neck and back shall be hacked asunder. Ra saileth with a fair wind, and the sectet boat progresseth and cometh into port. The mariners of Ra rejoice, and the heart of the lady of the hour is glad, for the enemy of her lord hath been cast to the ground. Thou shalt behold Horus standing on the pilot's place in the boat, and Thoth and Maut shall stand one on each side of him. All the gods shall rejoice when they behold Ra coming in peace to make the hearts of the spirit souls to live, and the Osiris Orni 
whose word is truth, the assessor of the holy offerings of the lords of Thebes, shall be with them. The chapter of the new moon, the following is to be recited on the day of the month, new moon day, the Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, in peace, whose word is truth, saith, colon Ra ascendeth his throne on his horizon, and the company of his gods follow in his train. The god cometh forth from his hidden place, and, chfau food falleth from the eastern horizon of heaven at the word of Nut. They, the gods, rejoice over the paths of Ra, the great ancestor, as, he journeyeth round about. Therefore art thou exalted, O Ra, the dweller in thy shrine. Thou swallowest the winds, thou drawest into thyself the north wind, thou eatest up the flesh of thy seat on the day when thou breathest truth. Thou dividest, it among, the gods who are, thy, followers. Thy, boat saileth on travelling among the great gods at thy word. Thou countest thy bones, thou gatherest together thy members, thou sittest thy face towards beautiful Amendet, and thou comest there, being made new every day. Behold, thou art that image of gold, thou hast the unitings of the discs of the sky, thou hast quakings, thou goest round about, and art made new each day. Hail! There is rejoicing in the horizon. The gods who dwell in the sky descend the ropes, of thy boat, when they see the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, they ascribe praise unto him as unto Ra. The Osiris Orni is a great chief. He, seeketh the earth crown. His provisions are apportioned to him the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth. His, Fate is strong from the exalted body of the Amma gods, who are in the presence of Ra. The Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, is strong on the earth and in Kirtnita. O Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, wake up, and be strong like unto Ra every day. The Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, shall not tarry, he shall not remain motionless in this land forever. Right well shall he see with his two eyes, right well shall he hear with his two ears, the things which are true, the things which are true. The Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, is in Anu, the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, is as Ra, and he is exalted by reason of, his, or among the followers of Nu. The Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, cannot tell what he hath seen, or, narrate, what he hath heard in the house of the God of Mysteries. Hail! Let there be shouts of acclamation of the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, the divine body of Ra in the boat of Nu, who beareth propitiatory offerings for the Kether God of that which he loveth. The Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, in peace, whose word is truth, is like Horus, the mighty one of transformations. Rubric, this chapter is to be recited over a boat seven cubits long made of green stone of the Chacha. Make a heaven of stars, and purify it and cleanse it with natron and incense. Make then a figure of Ra upon a tablet of new stone in paint, and set it in the bows of the boat. Then make a figure of the deceased whom thou wilt make perfect, and place it, in the boat. Make it to sail in the boat of Ra, and Ra himself shall look upon it. Do not these things in the presence of any one except thyself or thy father, or thy son. Then let them keep guard over their faces, and they shall see the deceased in Kirtnita in the form of a messenger of Ra. A hymn to Ra, which is to be sung, on the day of the month, the day of the new moon, when, the boat of Ra saileth, the Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, saith, Homage to thee, O thou who dwellest in thy boat. Thou rollest on, thou rollest on, thou sendest forth light. Thou sendest forth light. Thou decreest rejoicing for, every, man for millions of years unto those who love him. Thou givest, thy, face to the Himimit spirits, thou god Kepro who dwellest in thy boat. Thou hast overthrown the fiend Apep. O ye sons of Kab, overthrow ye the enemies of the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, and the fiends of destruction who would destroy the boat of Ra. Horus hath cut off your heads in heaven. Ye who are in the forms of geese, your navel strings are on the earth. The ornaments are set upon the earth. In the form of fish. Every male fiend and every female fiend shall be destroyed by the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth. 
whether the fiends descend from out of heaven, or whether they come forth from the earth, or whether they advance on the waters, or whether they come from among the star gods, Thoth, the son of Anna, coming forth from Anerti shall hack them to pieces. And the Osiris Sawney shall make them silent and dumb. And behold ye, this God, the mighty one of slaughters, the terror of whom is most great, shall wash himself clean in your blood, and he shall bathe in your gore, and ye shall be destroyed by the Osiris Sawney in the boat of his lord Rahoras. The heart of the Osiris Sawney, whose word is truth, shall live. His mother Isis giveth birth to him, and Nephthys nurseth him, just as Isis gave birth to Horus, and Nephthys nursed him. He, shall repulse the smate fiends of Suti. They shall see the earth crown stablished upon his head, and they shall fall down upon their faces, and worship him. Behold, O ye spirit souls, and men, and gods, and ye dead, when ye see the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, in the form of Horus, and the favoured one of the earth crown, fall ye down upon your faces. The word of the Osiris Orni is truth before his enemies in heaven above, and on earth beneath, and before the chat chat chiefs of every god and of every goddess. Rubric, this chapter shall be recited over a large hawk standing upright with the white crown upon his head, and over figures of, Dem, Shu, Tefnut, Kab, Nut, Osiris, Isis, Suti, and Nephthys. And they shall be painted in color upon a new tablet, which shall be placed in a boat, together with a figure of the deceased. Anoint them with Hekan oil, and offer unto them burning incense, and geese, and joints of meat roasted. It is an act of praise to Ra as he journeyeth in his boat, and it will make a man to have his being with Ra, and to travel with him wheresoever he goeth, and it will most certainly cause the enemies of Ra to be slain. And the chapter of traveling shall be recited on the sixth day of the festival. The chapter of advancing to the chat chat chiefs of Osiris, the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, saith, Colon I have built a house for my bar soul in the sanctuary in Tetu. I sow seed in the town of Pto. I have ploughed the fields with my labourers. My palm tree, standeth upright and is, like menu upon it. I abominate abominable things. I will not eat the things which are abominations unto me. What I abominate is filth, I will not eat it. I shall not be destroyed by the offerings of propitiation and the sepulchral meals. I will not approach filth, to touch it, with my hands, I will not tread upon it with my sandals. For my bread shall be made of the white barley, and my ale shall be made from the red grain of the god Harpy, the Nile god, which the sectet boat and the Atet boat shall bring, unto me, and I will eat my food under the leaves of the trees whose beautiful arms I myself do know. Oh what splendor shall the white crown make for me which shall be lifted up on me by the Uri goddesses? O oh, doorkeeper of Sehetaptoi, bring thou to me that wherewith the cakes of propitiation are made. Grant thou to me that I may lift up the earth. May the spirit souls open to me, their, arms, and let the company of the gods hold their peace whilst the Himimit spirits hold converse with the Osiris Sawney. May the hearts of the gods lead him in his exalted state into heaven among the gods who appear in visible forms. If any god, or any goddess, attack the Osiris Sawney, whose word is truth, when he sitteth out, the ancestor of the year who liveth upon hearts, Osiris, shall eat him when he cometh forth from Abydos, and the ancestors of Ra shall reckon with him, and the ancestors of Light shall reckon with him. He is, a god of splendor, arrayed in the apparel of heaven, and he is among the great gods. Now the subsistence of the Osiris Sawney, whose word is truth, is among the cakes and the ale which are made for your mouths. I enter in by the disc, I come forth by the god Ahui. I shall hold converse with the followers of the gods. I shall hold converse with the disc. I shall hold converse with the Himimid spirits. He shall set the terror of me in a thick darkness, in an inside of the goddess Mert, by the side of his forehead. Behold, I shall be with Osiris, and my perfection shall be his perfection among the great gods. I shall speak unto him with the words of men, I shall listen, and he shall repeat to me the words of the gods. I, the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, in peace, have come equipped. Thou makest to approach, 
thee, those who love thee. I am a spirit soul who is better equipped than any other spirit soul. The chapter of making transformations into a swallow, the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, saith, colon, I am a swallow, I am, a swallow. I am, that scorpion, the daughter of Ra. Hail, O ye gods whose odor is sweet. Hail, O ye gods whose odor is sweet. Hail, flame, who comest forth from the horizon. Hail, thou who art in a city. I have brought the warder of his corner there. Give me thy two hands, and let me pass my time in the island of flame. I have advanced with a message, I have come having the report thereof, to make. Open to me. How shall I tell that which I have seen there? I am like Horus, the governor of the boat, when the throne of his father was given unto him, and when Set, that son of Nut, was, lying, under the fetters which he had made for Osiris. He who is in Sechem hath inspected me. I stretch out my arms over Osiris. I have advanced for the examination, I have come to speak there. Let me pass on and deliver my message. I am he who goeth in, I am, judged, I, come forth magnified at the gate of Nebuchadnezzar. I am purified at the great Uart. I have done away my wickednesses. I have put away utterly my offenses. I have put away utterly all the taints of evil which appertain to me, upon the earth. I have purified myself, I have made myself to be like a god. Hail, O ye doorkeepers, I have completed my journey. I am like unto you. I have come forth by day. I have advanced on my legs. I have gained the master over, my, footsteps. Hail, ye, spirit souls. I, even I, do know the hidden roads and the gates of Sekataru. I live there. Verily, I, even I, have come, I have overthrown my enemies upon the earth, although my body lieth a mummy in the tomb. Rubric, if this chapter be known by the deceased. He shall come forth by day from Kurtnita, and he shall go, again, after he hath come forth. If this chapter be not known, by the deceased, he shall not go in again after he hath come forth, and he, shall not know, how, to come forth by day. The chapter, of making the transformation into a hawk of gold, the Osiris Orni saith colon I have risen up out of the Seshet chamber, like the golden hawk which cometh forth from his egg. I fly, I alight like a hawk with the back of seven cubits, and the wings of which are like unto the mother of emerald of the south. I have come forth from the sectet boat, and my heart hath been brought unto me from the mountain of the east. I have alighted on the eightet boat, and there have been brought unto me those who dwelt in their substance, and they bowed in homage before me. I have risen, I have gathered myself together like a beautiful golden hawk, with the head of the binu and Ra hath entered in, to hear my speech. I have taken my seat among the great gods, the children of, Nut. I have settled myself, the second head of it, the field of offerings, is before me. I eat therein, I become a spirit soul therein, I am supplied with food in abundance therein, as much as I desire. The grain god, Nepra, hath given unto me food for my throat and I am master over myself and over the attributes of my head. The chapter of, making the transformation into a divine hawk, the Osiris Orni saith colon hail, thou great God, come thou to Tetu. Make thou ready for me the ways, and let me go round, to visit, my thrones. I have labored. I have made myself perfect. O grant thou that I may be held in fear. Create thou awe of me. Let the gods of the Tuat be afraid of me, and let them fight for me in their halls. Permit not thou to come nigh unto me him that would attack me, or would injure me in the house of darkness. Cover over the helpless one, hide him. Let do likewise the gods who hearken unto the word, of truth, the Kepri the gods who are in the following of Osiris. Hold ye your peace then, O ye gods, whilst the god holdeth speech with me. He who listeneth to the truth. I speak unto him my words. Osiris, grant thou that that which cometh forth from thy mouth may circulate to me. Let me see thine own form. Let thy souls envelop me. Grant thou that I may come forth, and that I may be master of my legs, and let me live the like Nebuchadnezzar upon his throne.
let the gods of the Tuat hold me in fear, and let them fight for me in their halls. Grant thou that I may move forward with him and with the Ara gods, and let me be firmly established on my pedestal like the Lord of Life. Let me be in the company of Isis, the goddess, and let, the gods, keep me safe from him that would do an injury unto me. Let none come to see the helpless one. May I advance, and may I come to the handy boundaries of the sky. Let me address words to Kab, and let me make supplicant to the god who with Nebuchadnezzar. Let the gods of the Tuat be afraid of me, and let them fight for me in their halls. Let them see that thou hast provided me with food for the festival. I am one of those spirit souls who dwell in the light god. I have made my form in his form, when he cometh to Tetu. I am a spirit body among his spirit bodies, he shall speak unto thee the things, which concern, me. Would that he would cause me to be held in fear. Would that he would create, in them, or of me. Let the gods of the Tuat be afraid of me, and let them fight for me, in their halls. I, even I, am a spirit soul, a dweller in the light god, whose form hath been created in divine flesh. I am one of those spirit souls who dwell in the light god, who were created by Tem himself, and who exist in the blossoms of his eye. He hath made to exist, he hath made glorious, and he hath magnified their faces during their existence with him. Behold, he is alone and new. They acclaim him when he cometh forth from the horizon, and the gods and the spirit souls who have come into being with him ascribe fear unto him. I am one of the worms which have been created by the eye of the Lord one. And behold, when as yet Isis had not given birth to Horus, I was flourishing, and I had waxed old, and had become preeminent among the spirit souls who had come into being with him. I rose up like a divine hawk, and Horus endowed me with a spirit body with his soul, so that, I, might take possession of the property of Osiris in the Tuat. He shall say to the twin lion gods for me, the chief of the house of the Nem's crown, the dweller in his cavern. Get thee back to the heights of heaven, for behold, inasmuch as thou art a spirit body with the creations of Horus, the Nem's crown shall not be to thee, but, thou shalt have speech even to the uttermost limits of the heavens. I, the warder, took possession of the property of Horus, which belonged, to Osiris in the Tuat, and Horus repeated to me what his father Osiris had said unto him in the years, past, on the days of his burial. Give thou to me the Nem's crown, say the twin lion gods for me. Advance thou, come along the road of heaven, and look upon those who dwell in the uttermost limits of the horizon. The gods of the Tuat shall hold thee in fear, and they shall fight for thee in their halls. The god or et belongeth to them. All the gods who guard the shrine of the Lord one are smitten with terror at, my, words. Hail, saith the god who is exalted upon his coffer to me. He hath bound on the Nem's crown, by, the decree of the twin lion gods. The god Aet hath made a way for me. I am exalted, on the coffer. The twin lion gods have bound the Nem's crown on me and my two locks of hair are given unto me. He hath established for me my heart by his own flesh, and by his great, twofold strength, and I shall not fall headlong before you. I am Hadep, the lord of the two Uri goddesses who are to be adored. I know the light God, his winds are in my body. The bull which stricketh terror, into souls, shall not repulse me. I come daily into the house of the twin lion gods. I come forth therefrom into the house of Isis. I look upon the holy things which are hidden. I see the being who is therein. I speak to the great ones of Shu, they repulse him that is wrathful in his hour. I am Horus who dwelleth in his divine light. I am master of his crown. I am master of his radiance. I advance towards the henty boundaries of heaven. Horus is upon his seat. Horus is upon his thrones. My face is like that of a divine hawk. I am one who is equipped, like, his lord. I shall come forth to Tetu. I shall see Osiris. I shall live in his actual presence. Nut. They shall see me. I shall see the gods, and, the eye of Horus burning with fire before my eyes. They shall reach out their hands to me. I shall stand up. I shall be master of him that would subject me to restraint. They shall open the holy paths to me, they shall see my form, they shall listen to my words.
Homage, to you, O ye gods of the Tuat, whose faces are turned back, whose powers advance, conduct ye me to the star gods, which never rest. Prepare ye for me the holy ways to the Himat house, and to your god, the soul, who is the mighty one of terror. Horus hath commanded me to lift up your faces, do ye look upon me. I have risen up like a divine hawk. Horus hath made me to be a spirit body by means of his soul, and to take possession of the things of Osiris in the Tuat. Make ye for me a path. I have travelled and I have arrived at those who are chiefs of their caverns, and who are guardians of the house of Osiris. I speak unto them his mighty deeds. I made them to know concerning his victories. He is ready, to butt with his, two horns etc. They know him who hath taken possession of the god who, and who hath taken possession of the powers of Tem. Travel thou on thy way safely, cry out the gods of the Tuat to me. O ye who make your names preeminent, who are chiefs in your shrines, and who are guardians of the house of Osiris, grant, I pray you, that I may come to you. I have bound up and I have gathered together your powers. I have directed the powers of the ways, the wardens of the horizon, and of the Himat house of heaven. I have established their fortresses for Osiris. I have prepared the ways for him. I have performed the things which, he, hath commanded. I come forth to Tetu. I see Osiris. I speak to him concerning the matter of his great son, whom he loveth, and concerning, the smiting of, the heart of Set. I look upon the Lord who was helpless. How shall I make them to know the plans of the gods, and that which Horus did without the knowledge of his further Osiris? Hail, Lord, thou soul, most awful and terrible, behold me. I have come, I make thee to be exalted. I have forced away though the Tuat. I have opened the roads which appertain to heaven, and those which appertain to the earth, and no one hath opposed me therein. I have exalted thy face. O Lord of Eternity. The chapter of, making the transformation into the serpent satyr, the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, saith, colon I am the serpent satyr whose years are infinite. I lie down dead. I am born daily. I am the serpent Sarentar, the dweller in the uttermost parts of the earth. I lie down in death. I am born, I become new, I renew my youth every day. The chapter of, making the transformation into the crocodile god, the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, saith, colon I am the crocodile god, Sabak, who dwelleth amid his terrors. I am the crocodile god and I seize, my prey, like a ravening beast. I am the great fish which is in Camui. I am the lord to whom bowings and prostrations, are made in Sekum. And the Osiris Orni is the lord to whom bowings and prostrations, are made in Sekum. The chapter of making the transformation into Da, the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, saith, I eat bread. I drink gale. I gird up my garments. I fly like a hawk. I cackle like the smun goose. I alight upon that place hard by the sepulchre on the festival of the great God. That which is abominable, that which is abominable I will not eat. An abominable thing, is filth, I will not eat thereof. That which is an abomination unto my cash shall not hand to my body. I will live upon that whereon live the gods and the spirit souls. I shall live, and I shall be master of their cakes. I am master of them, and I shall eat them under the trees of the dweller in the house of Hatha, my lady. I will make an offering. My cakes are in Tetu, my offerings are in Anu. I gird about myself the robe which is woven for me by the god estate. I shall stand up and sit down in whatsoever place it pleaseth me to do so. My head is like unto that of Ra. I am gathered together like Tem. Here offer the four cakes of Ra, and the offerings of the earth. I shall come forth. My tongue is like that of Tar, and my throat is like unto that of Hatha, and I remember the words of Tem, of my father, with my mouth. He forced the woman, the wife of Kab, breaking the heads near him. Therefore was the fear of him there. His, praises are repeated with vigor. I am decreed to be the heir, the lord of the earth of Kab. I have union with women. Kab hath refreshed me, and he hath caused me to ascend his throne. Those who dwell in Anu bow their heads to me. I am, there, bull, I am stronger than, the lord, of the hour. 
I unite with women. I am master for millions of years. The chapter of, making the transformation into the soul of Tem, the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, saith, colon I shall not enter into the place of destruction, I shall not perish, I shall not know, decay. I am Ra, who came forth from new, the soul of the God who created his own members. What I abominate is sin, I will not look thereon. I cry not out against truth, nay, I live therein. I am the God who, the imperishable God, in my name of soul. I have created myself with new, in the name of Kepera. I exist in them like Ra. I am the Lord of Light. The chapter of, making the transformation into the Banu bird, the Osiris, the scribe Orni, whose word is truth, saith, colon I flew up out of primeval matter. I came into being like the god Kepera. I germinated like the plants. I am concealed like the tortoise, in his shell. I am the seed of every god. I am yesterday of the four, quarters of the earth, and, the seven Uri, who came into being in the eastern land. I am, the great one, Horus, who illumineth the Himimit spirits with the light of his body. I am, that god in respect of Set. I am, Thoth who, stood, between them, Horus and Set, as the judge on behalf of the governor of Sekum and the souls of Anu. He was like, a stream between them. I have come. I rise up on my throne. I am endowed with Ku. I am mighty. I am endowed with godhood among the gods. I am Kansu, the lord, of every kind of strength. The chapter of, making the transformation into a heron, the Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth saith, colon I am the master of beasts brought for sacrifice, and, of the knives which are, held, at their heads, and, their beards, those who dwell in their emerald, fields, the aged gods, and the spirit souls, are ready at the moment for the Osiris Sawney, whose word is truth, in peace. He maketh slaughter on the earth, and I make slaughter on the earth. I am strong. I follow the heights unto heaven. I have made myself pure. I walk with long strides to my city. I have become an owner of land there. I advance to Sepu. Is given to me in Anu. I have set the gods upon their roads. I have made splendid the houses and towns of those who are in their shrines. I know the stream of Nut. I know Datun. I know Teshut. I have brought along their horns. I know Haker. I have hearkened to this words. I am the red bull calf which is marked with markings. The gods shall say when they hear, of me, uncover your faces. His coming is to me. There is light which ye know not. Times and seasons are in my body. I do not speak, lies, in the place of truth, daily. The truth is hidden on the eyebrows. By, night, I, sail up the river to keep the feast of him that is dead, to embrace the aged god, and to guard the earth. I the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth. The chapter of, making the transformation into the lotus, the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, saith, colon I am the holy lotus that cometh forth from the light which belongeth to the nostrils of Ra, and which belongeth to the head of Hathor. I have made my way, and I seek after him, that is to say, Horus. I am the pure lotus that cometh forth from the field, of Ra. The chapter of, making the transformation into the god who lighteneth the darkness, the Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, saith, colon I am the girdle of the garment of the god new, which giveth light, and shineth, and belongeth to his breast, the illumina of the darkness, the uniter of the two reedy deities, the dweller in my body, through the great spell of the words of my mouth. I rise up, but he who was coming after me hath fallen, he who was with him in the valley of Abta hath fallen. I rest. I remember him. The God who hath taken possession of me in my town. I found him there. I have carried away the darkness by my strength, I have filled the eye, of Ra, when it was helpless, and when it came not on the festival of the fifteenth day. I have weighed Sut in the celestial houses against the aged one who was with him. I have equipped the oath in the house of the moon god when the fifteenth day of the festival come not. I have taken possession of the earth crown. Truth is in my body, turquoise and crystal are its months. My homestead is there among the lapis lazuli, 
among the furrows thereof. I am Hamnu, the lightener of the darkness. I have come to lighten the darkness, it is light. I have lightened the darkness. I have overthrown the Ashmi'u fiends. I have sung hymns to those who dwell in the darkness. I have made to stand up the weeping ones, whose faces were covered over, they were in a helpless state of misery. Look ye then upon me. I am Hamnu. I will not let you hear concerning it. I have fought. I am Hamnu. I have lightened the darkness. I have come. I have made an end to the darkness which hath become light indeed. The chapter of not dying a second time, the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, saith, colon hail, the oath. What is it that hath happened to the children of Nut? They have waged war, they have upheld strife, they have done evil, they have created the fiends, they have made slaughter, they have caused trouble, in truth, in all their doings the strong have worked against the weak. Grant, O might of the oath, that that which the god Tem hath decreed, may be done, and thou regardest not evil, nor art thou provoked to anger when they bring their years to confusion, and throng in and push in to disturb their months. For in all that they have done unto thee they have worked iniquity in secret. I am they writing pallet, oath oath, and I have brought unto thee thine ink jar. I am not of those who work iniquity in their secret places, let not evil happen unto me. The Osiris, the scribe Orni, whose word is truth, saith, colon hail, Temu. What manner of land is this unto which I have come? It hath not water, it hath not earth. It is depth unfathomable, it is black as the blackest night, and men wander helplessly therein. In it a man cannot live in quietness of heart, nor may the longings of love be satisfied therein. But let the state of the spirit souls be given unto me instead of water and air, and the satisfying of the longings of love, and let quietness of heart be given unto me instead of cakes and ale. The god Tem hath decreed that I shall see thy face and that I shall not suffer from the things which pain thee. May every god transmit unto thee his throne for millions of years. Thy throne hath descended unto thy son Horus, and the god Tem hath decreed that thy course shall be among the holy princes. In truth he shall rule from thy throne, and he shall be heir to the throne of the dweller in the fiery lake, Nezasa. In truth it hath been decreed that in me he shall see his likeness, and that my face shall look upon the face of the lord Tem. How long then have I to live? It is decreed that thou shalt live for millions of years, a life of millions of years. Let it be granted to me to pass on to the holy princes, for indeed, I have done away all the evil which I committed, from the time when this earth came into being from new, when it sprang from the watery abyss even as it was in the days of old. I am fate and Osiris, I have made my transformations into the likeness of divers serpents. Man knoweth not, and the gods cannot behold the twofold beauty which I have made for Osiris, the greatest of the gods. I have given unto him the region of the dead. And, verily, his son Horus is seated upon the throne of the dweller in the fiery lake, of Nezasa, as his heir. I have made him to have his throne in the boat of millions of years. Horus is established upon his throne, among his, kinsmen, and he hath all that is with him. Verily the soul of Set, which is greater than all the gods, hath departed. Let it be granted to me to bind his soul in fetter in the boat of the god, when I please, and let him hold the body of the god in fear. O my father Osiris, thou hast done for me that which thy father Ra did for thee. Let me abide upon the earth permanently. Let me keep possession of my throne. Let my air be strong. Let my tomb and my friends who are upon the earth, flourish. Let my enemies be given over to destruction, and to the shackles of the goddess Cirque. I am thy son. Ra is my father. On me likewise thou hast conferred life, strength, and health. Horus is established upon his tomb. Grant thou that the days of my life may come unto worship and honor. The chapter of, entering into the hall of Mauti to praise Osiris Cantiamenti. The Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, saith, Colon I have come unto thee. I have drawn nigh to behold thy beauties, thy beneficent goodness. My hands are, extended, in adoration of thy name of Maut. I have come. 
I have drawn nigh unto, the place where, the cedar tree existeth not, where the acacia tree doth not put forth shoots, and where the ground produceth neither grass nor herbs. Now I have entered into the habitation which is hidden, and I hold converse with Set. My protector advanced to me, covered was his face. On the hidden things. He entered into the house of Osiris, he saw the hidden things which were therein. The chat chat chiefs of the pylons were in the form of spirits. The god Anpu spake unto those about him with the words of a man who cometh from Tamera, saying, He knoweth our roads and our towns. I am reconciled unto him. When I smell his odour it is even as the odour of one of you. And I say unto him, I the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, in peace, whose word is truth, have come. I have drawn nigh to behold the great gods. I would live upon the propitiatory offerings, made, to their doubles. I would live on the borders, of the territory of, the soul, the lord of Tetu. He shall make me to come forth in the form of a Benu bird and to hold converse, with him, I have been in the stream, to purify myself. I have made offerings of incense. I betook myself to the acacia tree of the, divine, children. I lived in Abu in the house of the goddess Satet. I made to sink in the water the boat of the enemies. I sailed over the lake, in the temple, in the Nishmat boat. I have looked upon the Su of Kama. I have been in Tetu. I have held my peace. I have made the god to be master of his legs. I have been in the house of Teptuf. I have seen him, that is the governor of the hall of the god. I have entered into the house of Osiris and I have removed the head coverings of him that is therein. I have entered into Rasta, and I have seen the hidden one who is therein. I was hidden, but I found the boundary. I journeyed to Narutef, and he who was therein covered me with a garment. I have mayor of women together with the Shenyu powder of living folk. Verily he, Osiris, told me the things which concerned himself. I said, Let thy weighing of me be even as we desire. And the majesty of Anpu shall say unto me, Knowest thou the name of this door, and canst thou tell it? And the Osiris the scribe Orni, whose word is truth, in peace, whose word is truth, shall say, Curse Exu is the name of this door and the majesty of the god Anpu shall say unto me, Knowest thou the name of the upper leaf, and the name of the lower leaf? And the Osiris the scribe Orni, shall say, Nebmat Heri Rishuef is the name of the upper leaf and Nebpati Thesumament, is the name of the lower leaf. And the majesty of the god Anpu shall say, Pass on, for thou hast knowledge, O Osiris the scribe, the assessor of the holy offerings of all the gods of Thebes Orni, whose word is truth the lord of loyal service, to Osiris. The negative confession, Hail, Yusuk Nemt, who comest forth from Anu, I have not committed sin. Hail, Hepket, who comest forth from Karaha, I have not committed robbery with violence. Hail, Fenty, who comest forth from Kmanu, I have not stolen. Hail, Amkabit, who comest forth from Kurnet, I have not slain men and women. Hail, Neha, who comest forth from Rasta, I have not stolen grain. Hail, Ereti, who comest forth from heaven, I have not purloined offerings. Hail, Afi Mket, who comest forth from Suat, I have not stolen the property of God. Hail, neighbor, who comest and goest, I have not uttered lies. Hail, Setkesu, who comest forth from Hansu, I have not carried away food. Hail, Yudanezet who comest forth from Hekatar, I have not uttered curses. Hail, Keti, who comest forth from Amentet, I have not committed adultery, I have not lain with men. Hail, Herefharef, who comest forth from thy cavern, I have made none to weep. Hail, Basti, who comest forth from Bast, I have not eaten the heart. Hail, Darishu, who comest forth from the night, I have not attacked any man. Hail, Unemsnef, who comest forth from the execution chamber, I'm not a man of deceit. Hail, Unembasek, who comest forth from Mabit, I have not stolen cultivated land. Hail, Nebmaut, who comest forth from Mauti, I have not been an eavesdropper. Hail, Tenemeu, who comest forth from Bast, I have not slandered, no man. Hail, Sershu, 
who comest forth from Anu, I have not been angry without just cause. Hail, Tutu, who comest forth from Atti, the Buzirite gnome, I have not debauched the wife of any man. Hail, Aamenti, who comest forth from the kept chamber, I have not debauched the wife of any man. Hail, Mantuf, who comest forth from Pemenu, I have not polluted myself. Hail, Haru, who comest forth from Nahatu, I have terrorized none. Hail, Kimiu, who comest forth from Kawi, I have not transgressed the law. Hail, Shetkuru, who comest forth from Urad, I have not been wroth. Hail, Neknu, who comest forth from Hekat, I have not shut my ears to the words of truth. Hail, Kemti, who comest forth from Kemet, I have not blasphemed. Hail, Anhetepeth, who comest forth from Saw, I am not a man of violence. Hail, Serakuru, who comest forth from Manaset, I have not been a stirrer up of strife. Hail, Nabharu, who comest forth from Netfit, I have not acted with undue haste. Hail, Sekriu, who comest forth from Uten, I have not pried into matters. Hail, Nebabui, who comest forth from Sorti, I have not multiplied my words in speaking. Hail, Nefertem, who comest forth from Hetkatar, I have wronged none, I have done no evil. Hail, Temsepu, who comest forth from Tetu, I have not worked witchcraft against the king. Hail, Aramabef, who comest forth from Tebu, I have never stopped the flow of water. Hail, I, who comest forth from New, I have never raised my voice. Hail, you Atrikit, who comest forth from Saw, I have not cursed God. Hail, Nahebka, who comest forth from thy cavern, I have not acted with arrogance. Hail, Naheb Nefert, who comest forth from thy cavern, I have not stolen the bread of the gods. Hail, Chizatep, who comest forth from the shrine, I have not carried away the Kenfu cakes from the spirits of the dead. Hail, Enaf, who comest forth from Mauti, I have not snatched away the bread of the child, nor treated with contempt the god of my city. Hail, Hechebu, who comest forth from Tashi, the Fayem. I have not slain the cattle belonging to the god. The chapter of a tet of gold, the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, saith, Colon thou risest up for thyself, O still heart. Thou shinest for thyself, O still heart. Place thou thyself on thy base, I come, I bring unto thee a tet of gold, thou shalt rejoice therein. The chapter of a tet of Carnelian, the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth. Saith, Colon the blood of Isis, the spells of Isis, the magical powers of Isis, shall make this great one strong, and shall be an amulet of protection, against him, that would do to him the things which he abominateth. The chapter of a heart of Sahert stone, the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, saith, Colon I am the Benu bird, the heart soul of Ra, the guide of the gods to the Tuat. Their heart souls come forth upon earth to do what their cow wish to do, and the heart soul of the Osiris Orni shall come forth to do what his cow wisheth to do. The chapter of the head rest, which is to be placed under the head of the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth. Awake out of thy sufferings, O thou who list prostrate. Awake thou. Thy head is in the horizon. I lift thee up, O thou whose word is truth. Thy hath overthrown thine enemies for thee. Thine enemies have fallen, and they shall never more exist, O Osiris. The texts in the funeral chamber, the speech of Isis, Isis saith, Colon I have come to be a protector unto thee. I waft unto thee air for thy nostrils, and the north wind which cometh forth from the god Tem unto thy nose. I have made hole for thee thy windpipe. I make thee to live like a god. Thine enemies have fallen under thy feet. I have made thy word to be true before Nut and thou art mighty before the gods. The speech of Nephthys, Nephthys saith unto the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth colon I go round about thee to protect thee, O brother Osiris. I have come to be a protector unto thee. My strength shall be near thee, my strength shall be near thee, forever. Ra hath heard thy cry, and the gods have made thy word to be truth. Thou art raised up, Thy word is truth in respect of what hath been done unto thee. 
Tai hath overthrown thy foes, and thou art Horus, the son of Hatha. The speech of the Tet, I have come quickly, and I have driven back the footsteps of Th God whose face is hidden. I have illumined his sanctuary. I stand near the god Tet on the day of repelling disaster. I watch to protect thee, O Osiris. The speech of Kester, Master, I am Kester, thy son, O Osiris Orni, whose word is truth. I come to protect thee. I will make thy house to flourish, permanently, even as Tai hath commanded me, and as Ra himself hath commanded. The speech of Harpy, I am Harpy, thy son, O Osiris Orni whose word is truth. I come to protect thee. I bind together thy head and the members of thy body. I smite down for thee thine enemies under thee. I give unto thee thy head for ever and for ever, O Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, whose word is truth in peace. The speech of Tuamutef, Tuamutef saith, Colon I am thy son Horus, who loveth thee. I come to avenge thee, O my father Osiris, upon him that did evil unto thee. I have set him under thy feet for ever and for ever, permanently, permanently, O Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, whose word is truth. The Spk of Kebsenuf, Kebsenuf saith Colon I am thy son, O Osiris Orni, whose word is truth. I come to protect thee. I have collected thy bones and I have gathered together thy members. I have brought thy heart, and I have placed it upon its throne within thy body. I make thy house to flourish after thee, O thou who livest forever. The speech of the flame, I protect thee with this flame. I drive him, the foe, away from the valley of the tomb. I cast the sand about, thy feet. I embrace the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, in peace. The speech of the flame, I come to hew in pieces. I have not been hewn in pieces, and I will not permit thee to be hewn in pieces. I come to do violence, to thy foe, but I will not permit violence to be done unto thee. I protect thee. A soul saith colon the Osiris Sawney, whose is truth, praiseth Ra when he rolleth up into the sky in the eastern horizon of heaven. A soul saith colon the Osiris Sawney, whose word is truth, in peace in Kurtnita, praiseth Ra when he sitteth in the western horizon of heaven, and saith, I am a perfect soul. The speech of Orni. The Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, saith, Colon I am a perfect soul dwelling in the divine egg of the Abt of fish. I am the great cat which dwelleth in the seat of truth, wherein the god she riseth. The speech of the Ushabti figure, the chapter of not doing work in Kurtnita, illumine the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth. Hail, Shabti figure. If the Osiris Orni be decreed to do any of the work which is to be done in Kurtnita, let everything which standeth in the way be removed from him whether it be to plough the fields, or to fill the channels with water, or to carry sand from, the east to the west. The Shabti figure replieth, I will do it, verily I am here, when, thou callest. Here, being the chapters of Sekhet Hetepit, and the chapters of coming forth by day, of entering into and coming forth from Kurtnita, of arriving in Sekhet Hanru and of living in peace in the great city, the Lady of Winds, the Osiris the scribe Borni, whose word is truth, saith, Let me be master there. Let me be Ica there. Let me plough there. Let me reap there. Let me eat there. Let me drink there. Let me beget there. Let me do there all the things which one do eat upon earth. The Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, saith, Colon Horus vanquished set when, he, looked at the building of Sekhet Hetepit. He, spread air over the divine soul in its egg, in its day. He delivered the interior of the body of Horus, from the Akaru gods. I have crowned him in the house of Shu. His house is the stars. Behold, I take up my place in its nums. He hath guided the hearts of the company of the firstborn gods. He hath reconciled the two fighters, Horus and Set the guardians of life. He hath done what is fair, bringing an offering. He hath reconciled the two fighters with him that belongeth to them. He hath cut off the hairy scalp of the two fighters. He hath destroyed the revolts of, their, children. I have done away all the evil which attacked their souls.
I am master in, Sekhet Hetepit. I know it. I have sailed over its lakes that I might arrive at the cities thereof. I have made strong my mouth. The spirit souls are ready, to fight, but they shall not gain the mastery over me. I am equipped in thy fields, O God Hetep. What thou wishest thou shalt do, saith this God. The Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, saith, colon homage to thee, O Ra, the Lord of truth, the only one, the Lord of eternity and the maker of everlastingness. I have come before thee, O my Lord Ra. I would make to flourish the seven cows and their bull. O ye who give cakes and ale to the spirit souls, grant ye that my soul may be with you. Let him be born on your thighs. Let him be like unto one of you for ever and forever. Let the Osiris Sawney, whose word is truth, have glorious power in the beautiful Amentet. The names of the seven holy cows and their bull, 1. Het Kaunebtacha. 2. Akat Kantasts. 3. Kibadet Zahata. 4. Ermatus Churchenti. 5. Knimpman Kanuit. 6. Sekmitrens Mabats. 7. Shinat Badutestnita. Bull, Kat Hayhemt. Hail, thou beautiful power, thou beautiful rudder of the northern heaven. Hail, thou who circlest, guide of the two lands, beautiful rudder of the western heaven. Hail, splendor, dweller in the temple of the Ashim you gods, beautiful rudder of the eastern heaven. Hail, dweller in the temple of the red gods, beautiful rudder of the southern heaven. Hail, ye gods who are above the earth, ye guides of the Tuat. Hail, ye mother goddesses, who are above the earth in Kurtnita, in the house of Osiris. Hail, ye gods who guide touches it, who are above the earth and are guides of the Tuat. Hail, ye followers of Ra, who follow in the train of Osiris. Him to Osiris Kentia Menti Unnefer, the Osiris Orni, whose word is truth, praiseth Osiris Kentia Menti Unnefer, and saith colon hail, my lord, who dost hasten through eternity, whose existence is for ever, lord of lords, king of kings, sovereign, god of the gods, who live in their shrines. Gods. Men. Make thou for me a seat with those who are in Kurtnita, who adore the forms of thy care, and who traverse millions of millions of years. May no delay arise for the Intamera. Let them come to thee, all of them, great as well as small. May this God give the power to enter in and to come forth from Kurtnita, without repulse, at any door of the Tuat, to the Kathi Osiris Sawney. The Chapter of the Praise of Hatha, Lady of Mentet, Hatha, Lady of Mentet, the Dweller in the Great Land, the Lady of Duchesit, the Eye of Ra, the Dweller in His Breast, the Beautiful Face in the Boat of Millions of Years, the Seat of Peace of the Doer of Truth, Dweller in the Boat of the Favoured Ones.